like Dungeons and Dragons? Well, drag on these dice. Wow. It's a comedic storytelling 5e actual play show set in the homebrew world of Diz. I'm the Dungeon Master, and you can find mine and the players here's links all in the description. From it's me, the main okay. character of the group. Yeah, Scrubbins is the main character. He's the main. This is all. This is his story. Getting into the recap of uh, Scrubbins' story till now. Ever since being on the run from escaping the Coliseum, the party has thought themselves to be highly wanted criminals. But after heading to Mountain in order to lay low in a thieves hideout told to them by their new ally and main character, Scrubbins, they ran into an old enemy instead. However, in his remorse, the strange fish man named Piddle told the group they aren't actually being hunted for escaping as the capital wanted to keep it on the down low to avoid controversies surrounding the Coliseums. Piddle also gave information on the locations of the other Colosseums within Deesland, and after spending some time in Mountain where you learned of the King's marriage announcements and got on the wrong foot with a researcher named M, you all decided to spend the night within the aforementioned underground thieves hideout, the Manus Noctis. There you met a shadowy group, along with their leader, Nox Dolihi. Nox creepily attempted to persuade you all to join his and Scrubbin's faith in the Keeper, but also told you of the under ruins the Manus Noctis resides in. The ruins go deeper into an old city that was pushed underground by arcane means to make room for the current capital, but in doing so the halls have become cursed. Despite the risk, the mention of treasure caught your party's ear and you plan to travel below in the morning. So now, awakening from your creaky uncomfortable bunks within this hostile like room where a few other roguish travelers have spent the night you awake well Marin awakes wakes up first as she normally does a few hours before the rest of the party um, and Marin you see opening your eyes a figure at the end of your bed staring down at you oh good morning their <laughs> their own eyes looking down at you they're, they're cloudy and and pale their skin mounds of scarred flesh mouth clipped shut black tattered robes on Are we all laying in the same bed like charlie in the chocolate factory no the, the way it's the way it's set up is that um all your beds are like uh in like a row on one side of the wall can i i'd like to peer out from behind this kind gentleman towards Marin and just go good morning Marin <laughs> your vision is still kind of like blurry as you as you wake up um a, f a few moments pass uh you hear Shello say this and then this person just kind of steps back slowly into the shadows and this disappears great Nox is Bye -bye. a pervert it wasn't knocked. You, you you'd put it together that it looked like the um the Noctis people that they had they were getting their like heads burned when you guys walked in. Oh great! The like initiates. Um, yeah. I appreciate him staring down at me, but all right. Yeah, Marin, you actually look to your right at everyone else's beds, and there is a figure at the end of each person's bed, but their heads are cocked to the side now, looking at you. And oh. one by one, they all walk backwards in the shadows, disappearing. Oh, <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> that's <Funny>. terrifying. <laughs> but Shello, with his sleepless, was awake the whole time <laughs> and, and saw this all happen. See you. Shello, you would have noticed <laughs> these people just like appeared a few hours into the night and have just been standing there all night just watching the party. They were just checking on us, <laughs> making sure we slept good. Oh my god. Do you guys need any water? <laughs> That's kind of Are the rest of us waking up now? Yeah, Are after we... a couple hours of Marin and Shello just like <laughs> hanging out, I guess, the rest of you start to now wake up. <sighs> good morning, everyone. Hi, Shello. Well rested, I assume? Not particularly. Great! But... These beds suck. I want coffee. There's like a mess hall sort of thing, but it it doesn't seem like it's that great. It's mostly just self-service. Like they just have crates of various ingredients and then they have like some stuff set up to like cook. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to no make coffee. some porridge. I, I have a bowl of it and then I start 
bottling the rest of it so I can have forage later. We had some visitors last night. We did. They visited uh, what do you for mean? quite a while. Visitors? What? You remember they... those guys we saw when we came in, the ones getting their faces burnt? How couldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it, they looked a lot like them, but it was it looked healed, like they were healed. But they were just standing at the end of everyone's bed, just standing there. Well, when I woke up and they were watching as well. Well, yeah, <laughs> they weren't only standing. Wait, everyone's bed, like individually, they just there were a ton of these guys. Yeah, when I woke up, I made eye contact with the one at the end of mine. He just backed away and did the thing that Max did before, just disappear into the shadow. The shadows. And then all the rest of them were fucking looking at me. And then they all did the same thing. So I don't know what the fuck happened, but... Evil sort of, like, clutches her amulet in fear. Did they say anything? Or did they just disappear? Not a word. They were, they were mainly watching. Um... <laughs> Though they did also stand. They want to make sure we don't do anything that they wouldn't like. Well, they were, I suppose so. I think they were making sure we were well rested and comfortable. I disagree. I'm glad you think that, Shello. Scrubbins, do you know anything about that? I don't know. I'm I'm left in the dark a lot too. I I know as much as you do at this point. I don't. Yeah, the only thing Scrubbins would would know are just basically what Knox had told you. All these are like his army, basically of assassins, thieves, people to do like uh, roguish tasks for him. Basically, just like extremely devout followers of the Keeper, kind of trained, not having like any emotion, any ambitions, or anything other than serving the Keeper. I mean, I guess I know we didn't exactly make the best first impression with Nox, but should we talk to him about this? Or should we just sort of avoid getting even further onto his bad side? You can try. He probably won't be very open. That's very ominous. Do you want to talk to him, Marin? Sort of your call. Hmm. I don't know how good of an idea it is, but I suppose we probably should. While we're there, we could maybe ask more about that dungeon as well. But yeah, it'd be good to have more details. Y'all head across the, the way over to where his office is, and he is, once again, uh, just kind of floating, reaching out his very long arms uh, across the the room to grab, like, a book, and then, like, using the other one to, like, put a, a different book away, and then he, like, writes something in the, in the book. Um, then he sees you all walk in, and he kind of lowers himself, putting the, the book down on his desk. Nox, we needed to talk to you. Oh, me? Pebbles, like, quaking. L last night, uh, my friends here, Marin and Shello, they saw something unusual. People watching us in our sleep. Why did you have your people watching us? Ah, last night. Well, let me think. When you're bathed in black every hour is night. You said you had a bad sleep? Nightmares seeing people in your sleep? Excuse me? Not, not quite. Uh, they came in to, to check on us. They stood there and uh, they watched for a while. These people were very real, Nox. I, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, they okay. were. They, they were tangible. Oh, I've never the idea of what you speak of. <laughs> uh, I don't Somehow like Somehow I knew that was going to be the response. Great. Right. Well, what a, thank what you a... very much for your time. <sighs> All uh, circles are predisposed to end where they begin. Were you born to live or to die? I just have my head, my head Most in my hands. Most people hand. are born to die, because that's how the life cycle works. Kind of how life Interesting works. answer. He sort of, like, opens his book and, like, writes something down. <laughs> what? what do you mean? He's taking I... notes. 
blood is conducting um, a survey. Descending the bowels of the sickly <laughs> earth are thee. Descend too deep, and it may very well be a tomb, all worn. The bowels? I believe if he's thou talking about the dungeon. are born to yeah, die, maybe the no. keeper will be within your eyes very soon. You're always like one word away from rhyming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. very true. We're not, we're not born to die, but we aren't I born to I believe so. A disagreeing yeah. of opinions between you all seems you have much to discuss. Uh, this uh, dungeon from which no one has returned, which way is that? Uh, it's simply down the hall to your right. Far oh, down. in before you reach the entrance to the capital. Right. Oh, okay. right, okay. We're going down, right? Oh, yes, you will be. I'm going to but... awkwardly shuffle out. Yeah, we can go. Come mm. on. I think that we should devise a plan. I think that Shello needs to hold a torch for us because... I don't think I need to. No, you don't need a torch. Well, no, we for these we three. Do. We do. Because you yeah, have it... extra arm. Pebble's going to top up the lantern on some some oil and then hand hand it over to, to... Yeah, me too. And I hand it over to Mr. Shello and tell him, Shello, this is for light. Do not drink the oil. I can't. <laughs> and then pat him on the head. You begin going down this long hallway that uh, seems to go under the capital and sort of connect up but a little of the ways in you guys see uh opening to a stairwell down that seems to go into a dark uh underground chamber i feel, I feel like, like mirin should go first yeah i'm worried that if we run into anything mirin can definitely tank at least a hit or two and bolzar i'm assuming you're just casting light Peter yeah there. okay uh oh okay so this hall you're walking into is pretty dark it's pretty much only illuminated from like the lights behind you that light that lit up that hallway uh in the manus noctis um and there's also some like dim kind of like flickering candlelight you see in the next room down this um hallway here it'll be a bit spooky you guys ready yeah i suppose so let's fuck some shit up my compatriots you can use take, your take your time. arrow keys oh. <laughs> you can use your arrow keys Oh, yo! That's what I I've been doing. That. Everyone stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Marin, you take a step on yeah. a tile. It's, That's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh. It goes slowly down, and you panic, and then you hear a mechanism to your right begin to shift and, and move, and then it, it sounds like it is meant to shoot something out, but it seems that whatever was in there has run out, and there's no uh arrows inside of it oh, to shoot out oh cuz well, how many people have come through uh, at least now we know that there's going to be titty traps i wonder Stop. if that <laughs> i wonder if all of the people who have gone down if the only reason why people have made it as far <laughs> as they have down is because oh, all because... the traps are depleted oh my god that might be the case that would be really funny Oh no. You walk into this room here. Um, uh, you'll spot that. Uh, can I have this gold? That's a lantern. Uh -oh. Those are candles. Uh -oh. That's what I meant. What about the candy bar wrapper up the top? Right? The candy bar as a rug. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you see like, the little ones on the ground? Those are books. Okay. So it seems this room has been heavily looted. It's like fucked up. There's a hole yeah. looking down. You can see like Ooh. rubble down there. But there's also a tower that's like knocked over um, like the corner of the room. And you can kind of look in. Something small enough would be able to kind of like squeeze its way through. But looking through it, you see a dial sort of contraption uh, in the corner. Um, at the door at the bottom of the of the room you try the handle and it's locked uh, but there's a, another sort of contraption type thing on next to it um that mm. has various uh shapes on it uh, can and i see what this open is this open book have anything important in it? it it just seems to be uh like a fictional storybook uh nothing really catches your eye in it is there anything at the bottom of this chest like a lever uh, make an investigation check. 
Oh, hell yeah. All right, an 11. Yeah. The, the chest is like completely empty besides like some cobwebs in it. You lift it up, nothing under it. It, it seemed that it wasn't really supposed to be here. It was kind of like pushed over here from people looting the place. Huh. May may I, uh, a small thing, try and get through the crack in the wall? Yeah, so Shello, you'd be small enough to be able to fit through it. You guys don't have any light now. Well, it, it, there's like candles that are, that are lighting up uh, the room a bit, but it, it, I mean, it's a little, it's a little dark. I will investigate. Oh, you Aww. guys, you guys see this next to the the door? Ooh. It's a, it seems to be a plaque with these shapes on it. Then uh, mm. Shello, looking at this contraption on the other side of this pillar, yes. I'll I'll go ahead and send you what you see uh it's a dial with uh that can be set to these different like circle things and these are what they look uh, like shallow <laughs> can I... hey um what peanut yeah <laughs> that's that's hilarious <laughs> i'm so confused is there a joke there this is, a joke. is very funny no, no. <laughs> wait Wait, 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 I'm so confused. What does he see? Shallow, Shallow, what do you see? What's on that thing? <laughs> he can't even hold a straight face. I'm so, I'm so intrigued. I see uh, six symbols. Uh-huh. Uh, each of which We're lovely, are buddy. animals. Okay. Okay. That's what we see over here as well. Okay. What are you Shello, examining this contraption, it's it's a dial, and you can set the dial uh, to various uh, to each each of the circles, and it's currently it's set to uh, the top left. Uh, yeah, the 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 top the top left one. I sure hope I don't have to decipher what these symbols are. <laughs> I think you might, bud. Okay, what uh, what symbols? So, what different animals are there? <laughs> um, you know animals? I, I can tell you three of them for sure. Damn, wait, wait. Okay. what do you... Okay, what are the three? Uh, there's a deer. Okay. Uh, a funny turtle. Okay. And a butterfly. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can tell can... you the position. That would be helpful, I think. Yes. The butterflies on the left... The deer is on the top left. The funny turtle is on the top right. And uh, I hate to say it, I can't tell what the f fuck is in the f the the right. I can kind of tell what's in the bottom too. Okay. Well, what are the bottom two? What? It's very hard for me to decipher <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. We're seeing here is uh, like an elk. Uh. A that's, goose. A, a, that's the deer. I believe yeah. that's the... you know elk and deer. It's the same fucking thing. I don't know why. No, it's sure not. Either. It's not. Look, I don't. I live in a hunting state. I don't know, I don't do know what they mean. Currently, the currently, thing. you all uh, at the door. You see that the deer shape is lit up with some like magical blue glow. Okay, and okay, it says wait. elk. Shallow, mm. move the dial to the right. Yes. To the right? Magical yeah, to the right, the one you lettering. can't tell what it is. But I know which one the deer is. I, I know, um, I know, I know. But but move it so... to the one you... Oh, Wait, okay. You... I think I get uh, it. Move it to the one that you can't tell what it is, and then it'll glow over here and yeah. you can tell what it is. I want to rotate the dial all the way to the right-hand side. Okay, you rotate it all the way to the right, and on the door, the fourth symbol lights up okay okay and the dude that's a, that's okay a i'm i'm keeping track of them by the way okay the one on the right shallow is a duck who's sitting down the duck's not... sitting well he's not sitting okay there's two ducks one of them it's is a goose no. and a duck. <laughs> there's a goose oh. and a duck wait is that what that is okay, yes. okay. wait okay there's a goose and a duck so that, that, that really fucks me up why what because if I were to like rotate it one more to the right, so in the bottom right, that looks like a duck to me. Okay, but is it st is it really tall? Does it have a no. long neck? No, I'm assuming. He's got but Peanut, you might you, you might be able to understand my problem here. Two of these are oh. or three of them are kind of hard to decipher. One of oh, them, I don't know what the fuck don't it worry, is. I know. 
Okay, the good. Yeah, one. no, I under. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the one that you turn it? Turn, turn it to the fuck? bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. Turn it to the bottom right. Give me bottom, the bottom right, right. The second symbol on the door. Let's okay, go. that's okay. Like so me. then the other one's the bottom left. Okay. Wait, Marin, are you? Do you want to shout it over to, to Shella since you figured it out? Yeah. All right. So we have the same symbols. I'm assuming based on what you have been able to see, and they light up whenever you turn the dial to a certain one. It seems, in the order we have, it is the deer, then, an almost it's it's a bird, but I think that's one that you can't quite decipher. Okay. Um, you have the turtle, uh -huh. then another bird, the butterfly, and then a penguin. So all I the birds the... you can't see. Okay. <laughs> um, well, that makes sense. The deer is the top left. Mm -hmm. Could you turn it to the top left? I'd like to turn it to the top left. Okay, Please. turn to the top left. The first symbol lights up. Okay, then the second is the bird standing, which is the bottom right. Can you turn it to the bottom right? I'll go to the bottom right. You turn to the bottom right, the second symbol lights up, and the first symbol does not disappear this time. Okay. Ooh, progress. And then the third one, the top right, it's the turtle. Turtle. Okay. The third symbol lights up. The others stay lit up. The fourth one is the duck, and that is to the right. Sitting one on the right side? Both yes. standing. Okay, the no, one on the right well, side. Yeah, but it... it Looks more like it's sitting, especially if it's not as decipherable. Yeah, right, I'm no, trying, thing <laughs> I'm is, trying to make is, it work. That is not decipherable. Switch it to the, the symbol all the way to the right, and the fourth image on the door lights up, and the rest okay. of it stay lit. Ooh. All right, and then the fifth one is the butterfly, which you've said is on far the left, left. Right? Okay, Switching yeah. it to the far left, same thing. That next symbol lights up, and others stay on. And then we have the sixth, the last bird in the bottom left. Bottom left. You move it to that, and you hear the door click open. The symbols then fade to it only being lit up on the penguin. But the Let's, door is oh. now unlocked. Let's oh, open! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the door is open. Yeah, come, come back. Can we? Can we? Can we get um can we some see context what? to what I had to go yeah, through? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> so I'll send it. I'll send it in the. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wait, he's colorblind! <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, do that and do it! Oh my god! Oh, so fuck! Oh my god, I, I can see that, but... Oh my god, that's so <laughs> He knew this about him, and he made sure that the gap was only small enough for Shala to fit. <laughs> to be fair, it's also small enough for Balthazar's owl. Yeah, oh, but... True. <laughs> so, yeah, the but one on the right, I don't... On purpose. I don't see that. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> I don't see the one on the right at all. Well, we, we decided no. Shello is also colorblind, right? So it makes sense. Well, he's an ant. Yeah, ants are <laughs> colorblind. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, this is ominous. Before you okay. walk into this next hall here. Oh. Am I allowed to <laughs> keep up, pick up this? Hall? No! <laughs> okay, we're uh, meant to be in Scally, you do that. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I can pick up the sky. I pick Allie. up the Rem Remember traps? <sighs> oh shit. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> we had an order. <laughs> let's, let's take a step back for a second. You guys have walked into this hallway. You see across from the hall is a skeletal body. The skull a little bit further from the body. Uh, some cut marks on the ground that seem to have separated head from body pebble sees this and for some reason this runs out to grab the skull steps on a tile i might have made a mistake yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait i didn't think there would be consequences pebble for my make a dexterity saving throw shit <laughs> okay funny bone man i get it oh no man. okay oh. yikes Oh no! First Hello. death. Wait, Hello. no, 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 no. Rest in peace. I love that the, the rock lady had to do the dexterity throw. God damn it. Scally, no. a axe swings across the ground, just hitting you head on. You take 22 damage. Jesus, 22. Okay, oh. guys, guys, there was a trap. I never could have suspected. Yeah. Something. 
There was. Ow. That's why we did, need to be careful. Did you at least get the skull? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Did I get the skull? Can I? I'll it's get just a normal right skull. Now. I mean. Okay, but I want it. <laughs> no, stop stealing pe dead people's heads. Pebble, reaching down to pick up this skull. Can you make an investigation check? Oh, yeah, I can. It's a thirteen. Thirteen. So you, you now realize the, the tile you had stepped on, uh, looks a little bit different from the others like it's a kind of like a different shade of of gray it's really hard to tell but doing that you also notice the one in front of you is also that shade um but the next tile is a little bit I, hard to see i knew that this was a useful skull i can now see any trap with no. this magic skull of mine. i think you still have to look how much health does people have left i have 12 health left i have a skull from now on from now no. on, you are not going in first. We will just step over it. Like, not step on it, go over it. Yeah, you guys can easily jump the, the distance over it. It's only five feet, so. Uh, there's some stairs. Yeah, so going around this corner here, you see there's stairs down. There's also a uh, a, a door open uh, to a room on your, on your left. In this room, you, you see it's another room that seems like heavily looted already um there's a like there's there, there's some stuff in here but a lot of it has been like thrown around what is this web <laughs> thing or this red thing Mr. as a Pina? backpack oh what is there anything in it can i see you want to make an investigation check? i sure do boom i sure la do uh, hey. natural 20 you find two hand axes <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Another addition to my collection. I guess we're going down? I, I want to go down. Going right. down. I'm itching for adventure. Alright, you guys walk down the stairs into this level below. It's another room that just seems like empty, like it's been looted to hell. Rubble fallen over from the place kind of collapsing a bit. There's a door on the left and a door on the bottom right there uh the door on the mm -hmm. bottom right has a statue of a woman with angel wings except the top half of the head is missing it's only a jaw how does it have oh. boobs it does have boobs. <laughs> okay can i point can i point at the boobs and go <laughs> Grubbins. it's a booby trap scrubbins it's got boobies <laughs> Scrubbins. Scrubbins. Yeah. Stop. Can I pick up this skull? Oh my god. Yeah, make an investigation check. Okay. What appears to be a skull, you notice that this skull, uh, it's it doesn't actually seem to be made of bone. It, it looks like it's constructed, molded out of alabaster, Thank you. missing a lower jaw and it has a sort of ridge at the bottom i see well may the I... statue was missing everything above the jaw <laughs> may i uh disagree what <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> just trying to have an argument <laughs> why <laughs> honestly because i mean i found it i didn't get to make the conclusion <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you were just like oh so it's <laughs> I'm sorry. I rolled an investigation check for this uh it's a dead body, body over here. Nothing on it. That's all. It's it a dead body. <laughs> Looks like a dead it's body dead. From over here. Do we want to go into the room below? Or do we want to look in the room on the left? Is the is there anything on the door on the left? Like there seems to be nothing uh like the statue or some anything on the door it seems to be just a door. It's like a stone door. Scrubbins, would you be so kind? Yeah, make an investigation. That's not great. Seems fine. Oh, no. Seems fine. Open that baby up. Thank God it seems fine. You try the handle and it's locked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what do I roll to unlock again? Are you dexterity. trying to unlock it? Yeah. Okay, make a dexterity check. You're trying it, but it seems to not be locked by a lock. It's a locked by some sort of contraption that you can't seem to pick with your tools. I like to climb up the statue and put the, <laughs> the half skull on top. Yeah, so you you slot it in the place on the on the like uh, the lower jaw. There's like a spot for it to slot into. You hear the door unlocking, and then it slowly opens. I pat Ooh. Shello on the back oh, because, because I'm very proud of him for. Thank you. For doing that. We can just walk past the bear <laughs> trap, right? You don't need me to disarm it. 
don't know. No, it's kind of in the it. way. Yeah, oh no, I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I rolled dexterity 11. Uh, yeah, so you, you like kind of like drop something on it and then it like slams shut. Thank God we had a rogue to do that. <laughs> As you guys kind of turn this hallway's corner, you start to hear the sound of a, like a wet scraping. Ew, how wet. Nice. It seems to be coming from further down the hall and like kind of like to the right. I like the music. It's getting spooky. I still Rude. wait. Hold on. I got turn turning the, the corner here. Oh, I can't see anything. What is do you see? Oh, there's a. Oh, oh, there's a person. Oh, he's kind of no, bad. That's a big dude. bug. He's kind of bad. Turning the corner, oh, you see, <laughs> you see a man kind of like kneeled over on the ground, and he's cutting up a body into just like little pieces. Oh. With a with a small like dull knife, you're looking at his face. And his, like, eyes are bleeding. It seems like he cut his own eyelids off. And he's Ooh. muttering to himself, the, the bodies move. The bodies move. The bodies move. As he, <laughs> like, kind of looks up and sees you all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame him. <laughs> Holy shit. Can we just shoot this guy? Do we have to talk to him? This is awful. I don't like I, this guy. I, I, I think we should talk to him. I feel <laughs> like this isn't going to go well, but <laughs> I, I don't he know. <laughs> sees you all kind of turn the corner, the light coming on to him. Uh, he, he's getting up. He drops the knife, picks up a great sword next to him and begins walking towards you all with the sword like dragging on the ground <laughs> behind him. Aaron's gonna hoist up her halberd. She's fucking ready. She's yeah, not gonna fucking stand Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Let me go. I got 20. Um, I wanted was, to, was I wanted to tell him a funny joke. Aaron picked up her halberd. I don't think he's gonna, like, he's in a happening? laughing mood. Yeah, but he could have been like, oh, you guys aren't like creepy weird things your people i'm not gonna do anything because i don't want to like hurt him yet okay ball stars your turn oh but you'll hurt a child can i uh <laughs> can i use magic missile yeah because the child <laughs> hurt me fuck off All right. okay Let's... no you're right you're right am i able to get the magic missile past these two in front of me or is it gonna hurt them um you actually don't have vision of him mm, fuck i can use um misty step as a bonus action uh -huh. and move into a position where i can shoot him let's try acid splash this guy is already looking incredibly hurt, but then you splash this acid on him, lets out like a grunt, and he's like bleeding profusely from, it seems you've like opened like cuts that are already on his body. He starts bleeding like through his clothes. My thing was that Mirren was ready if he tried to hurt us. That was the thing. He picked up a weapon. Yeah, Mirren, yeah, Mirren, that's why Mirren Clearly is not in his right mind. Mirren's just gonna get real close. And then ready and then I'm just trying to be a task me. Okay. Could I run up here mm -hmm. and then can I use oh. what? Nothing. Go ahead. That's suspicious. Um <laughs> Uh my oh god fucking why can't I think of the name of it? The uh uh emissary of peace for the plus five bonus to charisma. Okay. Uh how do, I don't know how to use that, but I, I would... Oh, I roll? Okay, I'm going to try to persuade him to put his weapon down and not fight. And what do you say to him? Uh, sir, I I know you look very scared. We're not here to try and hurt you. Just please put the weapon down. Except okay? for Balthazar. Except for Balthazar. <laughs> He's looking at you dead in the eyes, dripping with his own blood and the acid both are just thrown onto his body he's saying the bodies move the bodies move and he picks up his sword readying it to attack <laughs> shallow it's your turn i'd like to go here dear god <laughs> it's it's a, it's an eyeless man he has eyes it's just his eyelids no, eyelid. yeah, doesn't he have isn't doesn't he just have no eyelids he has well? no eyes Oh, he has no eyes. No, he, has no, eyes. He, he has eyes. If he cannot Shallow. blink, he has no eyes. Shola, what are you doing? Uh, I'd like to go back into the tunnel. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's going to finish approaching Pebble and he's going to th swing his sword down. Marin, are you using your reaction? Yeah. 
Okay, go ahead, roll the hit. 14, you swing this down on him. His movement is kind of unpredictable and you you just miss him completely. His armor class oh, must yeah. be at least 15. But he, he swings his greatsword down on Pebble. He also misses Pebble. Everyone in this universe is tries really terrible to game. swing it again, misses hey. Pebble again. It seems he's a bit like <laughs> crazed right now and he, he his mind seems well, a little bit empty. At least and he's, he's in not really a able while, to, at least. To hit Scrubbins, or we're back up to you at the top of the combat. I guess if everyone's if he's attacking us now, then I'll attack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna attack. Sixteen, swing and you miss him. I'm doing magic missile. Okay, you shoot three bursts into him. Also, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ooh. Can I, ironically, because he's cutting up limbs, can I just like, just, like have his like limbs just explode off his torso? <laughs> yeah, you, you blow off an arm that's holding his sword, and it flies back behind him. <laughs> you blow off the other arm, a blood just splurting everywhere. You blow off a leg, and he like falls over onto Pebble. As he's as his life is fading, <laughs> just saying the boy, the move, the boy, the, the move. Pebble his... like just yelps <laughs> and, and runs back. Then he falls onto the, the ground, <laughs> no longer looking. He was saying that the bodies move, but I don't. My body moves. Well, most people's do. <laughs> what, why am I imagining him doing a little all. jig to that? Oh. <laughs> That He's was very needlessly wise. brutal. I it was fairly brutal. I have to agree with Scrubbins here. This guy was literally cutting up bodies. Okay, you I could have gone for his head. <laughs> he was saying something that seemed important. We could have talked to him. I don't think he was saying anything important. Yeah, no, he said <laughs> he you. was just repeating that the bodies I, move. Okay, I just think we could have been saying, saying anything else. Something. What if I just think we could have gone for his he... head, not his limbs. You want well, his head to explode? Yeah. Yeah, but, that would be quicker for him. Uh, may I either, either attempt to find, like, any valuables? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a investigation check around this, like, this seemed to be some sort of camp for a few people. Alright, sweet. Sixteen. Guys, I'm 16? pretty sure he was eating the dead bodies. Okay. Shallow, you find a scroll of identify. In one of the bags. Oh, wonderful! Ooh. Yoink! <laughs> Can we look for this rubble? Is there anything in the rubble for us to look at? The room extends that way, but it like collapsed. Is this is this probably where the know, hole was somewhere. in the uh, upper level as well? No, that'd be probably in the next room. Uh, can I see what these things are? Yeah, make an investigation. Ooh, bodies. Check. Okay. Oh, nice, and that 20. You reach towards them to check them, and one of them just starts violently shaking, lunging Jesus. at you, and squints. <laughs> the bodies move, he's right. And the other one begins, like, moving around, too. Oh, God. These... But they're oh, wait, restrained, wait, 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 and they wait, wait, don't wait, seem wait, wait, to be able to break out. Hold on, hold on. Can I use... Uh, can I use detect magic? Or, wait, no, no. Yeah, detect magic. I want to see... I want to see if this is magic or if these are actually just normal people who are you aren't getting anything with the tech magic should i open the body maybe open the Why mouth would first. you i think it's maybe we should just there stop they, their heads what off if they need help uh, well, open the mouth hole first they're restrained is there a mouth hole is there a designated mouth hole? make one get a do? knife yeah okay i would like <laughs> to take out one of my hand axes oh my and open God. up a little hole for a okay mouth. uh make a dexterity saving throw Oh my god, wait, no. I'm way too low on health for this. I, a nine. No. You cut a hole open for the mouth and immediately a mouth just bites your hand, deals three damage to you. <laughs> oh my god. As it just like rips <laughs> a chunk of your like hard <laughs> skin off. And it means, like, it, it, the teeth are all like fucked up and like bleeding and, and some like skin is like falling off. May I oh move? God. Okay, can I like pick it away and then like I'm gonna grab my hand and try to not show it to the others. Oh um, my! No, we're not, not doing that. Don't be that. You're You're not. Not. <laughs> they clearly know I was bitten. That's not what I mean. No, we're not. That's not what I meant. Why are you I didn't. To this hide isn't it? the same as like I'm not movie stupid zombies. Enough to think that you didn't. They're just undead. You can't get infected. I am aware. That's, That's not, not what, what I'm doing. saying. Oh my god. <laughs> 
I can't believe Pebble would hide her bite from the rest of the group. <laughs> no, that's not at all what you're, I'm saying. You're doing... You guys are recontextualizing what I'm. Oh my god. To investigate the door. Okay, <laughs> investigation. 15. Uh, doesn't seem to be trapped, seems to be unlocked. Uh, is there. Is there Crazy. a reason why we're still in combat? Oh, I just forgot to take it out of combat. Oh, okay. Um, Thank God. Good. We're not freaking out wow, for no Peter. reason. Um, however, uh, as you walk well. into this room, you see a skeleton Ooh, get up and start crawling towards you all. Another yeah, skeleton right. emerge yeah. from a pile of bones. Two of them actually emerge from this pile of bones. Mm -hmm. And a it's you the hear brothers. rustling on the other side of the room as well. We're gonna keep the same initiative, but start at the top of combat. So Scrubbins, it is your turn. All right, shoot. Yeah, you you uh, go ahead and roll damage. You're able to hit it. Uh, so that is five. So yeah, an arrow like hits it as it's like getting up from the from the ground. Um, I'm gonna use acid splash on the one up the right. So you try to splash it, but it it kind of like lands next to it. Doesn't quite get the skeleton. Going over here, this motherfucker, and gonna swing the halberd down. Right, roll an attack for that. Yeah, well. Just misses him. Skeleton in the bone pile, shaking its little bones over to here. Not quite getting oh. any of you. Other one that was by it is going to also go in the same direction, so right, right behind it. Pebble, it's oh. now your turn. I'm gonna heal myself for 20 health. All right, and Shell, it's your turn. Yay, Shell, my king, my boy. Yay, Shell gets to, um... Coward. Shell gets to walk up to the door and knock on it and say, Guys, the bodies are moving! <laughs> the bodies! Bro. Uh, and then I end my turn. What a turn! Pebble, this one's gonna run up to you and make a uh, attack with the short sword it has. Does a... no, eight does not hit. So it tries to uh, swing this short sword at you and it misses. I don't see Pebble on the map. Pebble is right below where you are, Scrubbins, like right on your tile. Scrubbins would have gone in first, so it, it'd probably be like this. So it, he, he attacked Scrubbins, but he, was, he still would have missed. Marin, this skeleton is going to take a short sword attack at you. The 19 hit. Yeah. It slashed at you with this short sword for 8 damage. Does a 19 hit? Bloody hell. <laughs> Do the rapier. Oh, good. Oh, wait. Well, I don't know. Did that work? 13. You seem to hit off its armor, not doing any damage to it. I'm going to try Acid Splash again. Ah, uh, the one closest to me. And it's one. It takes the one damage from that. Singe it a little bit. All right. Well, I'm going to try and hit this fucker. Well, no. Sorry. I'm going to rage first. Okay. We're like a seven on the D12. So energy from your scars kind of calls out to vines that cause the walls of the of the ruins to cave in a little bit slightly just like going to the cracks and then they travel to the ground around you in a 15 foot radius beginning to bloom flowers and making it difficult terrain for the enemies around you okay. does that okay. also apply to Mary? no no <laughs> it would be so it, see, it seems to move like with her footsteps oh, oh okay. that's really cool <laughs> Pebble's a fan. <laughs> and then uh, Mirren's just gonna swing her halberd again. Okay. That's 25? Over 25. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> Roll damage. Oh, only an 8. Total of 10, though. You swing this and oh, just yeah, knock its head off. <laughs> and, it's, and its bones Yo. just collapse onto the ground. That's pretty poggers. Don't mess with the orc. <laughs> Killing that one. All right, then we're gonna come immediately right over here. And right. what was the radius for the thing? Uh, 15 feet. 15, So you'd, you'd be getting both of them with that difficult terrain. Yeah. Okay, so there's now the one diagonal to you. That one is going to attempt to swing at you with a short sword. Does a 12 hit? Does 12 hit me? No. All right, then it misses you. The other one also gonna try to swing at you. 24 <laughs> hits, right? <laughs> no, wow. no, no, it totally doesn't. No, no, it's yeah, okay. Uh, it, it, uh, <laughs> it, it got a it got a natural twenty. It deals twelve damage oh, to you as God. it swings at you. Uh, okay. Well, fuck these guys. It's fucked up. Wait, wait. What kind of damage is it? Uh, slashing or piercing? I have I, 
Uh, I get resistance. I don't know what that means. That reduces it by half, so it would be six damage. <laughs> awesome. I wish Full I would have realized that before. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I've been Am taking full damage. To, I'm going to go up to this. You'd have to take double movement, but I think that would get you to the right spot you're trying to get to. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to attack this mofo with my long sword. All right. Oh, okay. I don't... 13, no, you... Again, you just hit him. Doesn't seem to do enough damage to... Actually, do damage. Damn it. Shallow, we're back to you. Still on the other side. All right. I'd like to uh, knock on the door again <laughs> and say, hey, Gang, I, I'm not sure what's going on in there. Well, the door's but... open. <laughs> yeah. You just can't but... get by Bulbasaur. So you're, you're yeah, knocking I'm on knocking like Bulbasaur's on... back. I'm knocking on the door for him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fellas, I can't, I, I can't quite see um, <laughs> what's happening here. Well, I suppose I'll. Um, Walk over here and um, poke at the poke at the dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, they're still like writhing on the ground. I'll just poke at their feet. Great. The skeleton is gonna like move a little bit up that way and then try to swing at Pebble with a short sword. <sighs> okay. Kind of like hopping to the side, swinging at you and missing. Uh, doesn't Hell Scrubbins yeah. get an opportunity attack there? 18. You actually hit him, so may, uh, roll damage for him as he moves. Uh, around Pebble. Eight, he moves out, uh, to like swing at uh, Pebble from a different area, literally brainless, so he, he doesn't realize you're there and you take a big chunk of him, kind of like knocking one of his arms off as he does this. Awesome. I think I'm gonna do um, false life. All right, now you have six temporary hit points then. That's it. Okay, ball starts your turn. Okay, I wanna uh, first off move it out of the way and <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you can join us if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, magic missile. Three, yeah, you three, shoot at the skeleton, eight. and kind of like the other guy, you kind of shoot its like bones off, and it just like crumbles into the bones on the ground. I love bone. Um, I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna fucking slash at this this fucker in front of me. The one directly in front of you. Like yeah. Below you. Okay. Yeah. Go roll an attack. Oh. No, no, I won't, yeah. actually. No, you, you miss him. <laughs> your foot kind of gets caught in like a crack um... in the floor and it, it, it lose your grasp a bit in this. Both of these uh, swing back at you. One of them deals six piercing damage to you. The second one also hitting you, dealing four piercing damage. Two. Okay. And then we're over to Pebble. Okay, I would like to go right here okay. and then I would like to attack with my long sword all right go ahead and is a what is 20 hit does hit go ahead and roll damage Let's freaking go nine damage so as you hit this thing you like swing your sword down at it you begin to feel the ground kind of shake and, and crack a bit balls as oh, the what? floor just caves in. Oh god! Oh, oh holy you! Holy shit! And oh. my guys, <laughs> Marin, Pebble, and two of these skeletons just fall down to a level below. Well, <laughs> fuck. Marin, Pebble, both of you, you both take seven damage. Fuck. I'm on thirteen health. Who's Pebble on now? Uh, I am now on. 22 health. Yeah, because oh. Pebble healed herself. Currently, though, Scrubbins, Balthazar, Shello, there, there's no other threat in this room right now. You you look <laughs> down and, and <laughs> yeah. it, it's very dark. It, you, you shine your light down and you see them kind of like in like rubble below. Uh, one of the skeletons like broken into pieces. The other one uh, also knocked down prone with the with your two allies. What are, what are you three doing? I'd like to walk into the room and say, Good job, guys. We we've done it. You've you've destroyed the foe. All of the party is here, and we are ready to continue on in this dungeon. Shallow, you might want to look around. I do. I see a dead skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> They're very else very missing? difficult. No, we're all here. Yep. Name them. Name name them off. We've got regular guy, owl man, huh? rock lady, there to my right. No, no. And Try Mirren, again. 
I assume Mirren turned into a scary skeleton and you dispatched <laughs> of her quickly. Oh. Bro. A wise decision. <laughs> what? That's so fucked up. Skeletons can be very dangerous. True, true feelings come out here. <laughs> For real, I'll well, yeah. never let go of that first instance where Mira no, I'm, accidentally uh, Shell, hurt. Shell is just saying that skeletons are dangerous and <laughs> he would never yeah. trust them and he'd never have a skeleton anywhere near him. He has an exoskeleton. Yeah, we have <laughs> skeletons. That means That's like gross. Us. That's scary. I'll tell him that. I, I would like to go over here because it seems like everyone else is interested in this big old hole. <laughs> I'd like to take a look down. Everyone comes Looking down, table. you it, it's it's kind of hard to see because it's like dark down here. Your lantern doesn't totally reach all the way, but you feel like you can kind of make out uh, Marin Pebble uh, and a couple skeletons down here, some bones. Good, guy. it's the Rock Lady and Marin. How far down are they? Um, it's one story. I think like that's like twenty feet or something. I'd like to heal Marin. Marin, you're healed for six uh, health. Yeah, I'm back up to 19 health. You seem to be doing well. I, I'm um, going to run over to the door and see if yeah. I find stairs. Yeah, uh, go to the door and investigate it. See if it's unlocked. The door to the left. Yeah, it, it, it is unlocked. We, we all go in there? We probably should, in case there's any traps or anything. We Get just separated the girls and boys, yeah. We're all like, yeah. like, 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 short, like, you know, like linked, like we have our arms around oh, each other's shoulders. We've also like, oh. we've also separated the tall people and the short people. <laughs> I don't know. What that means. I think I see stairs. You see stairs? Scrubbins, what's I mean, your sorry. passive perception? I think I see stairs. What? What's your passive perception? Uh, passive perception fourteen. Okay, so right where you are right now, the next tile uh, between the tile you're on and the set of three tiles you're about to step on, you notice there's like a groove between them and they're not like connected. Okay, so do I investigate? Yeah, you can make an investigation check. You kind of like put your hand on the tile in front of you and you notice you push down slightly and on the other side of the hallway, the tile, a tile that like a, like a board, it kind of like one side lowers and the other side rises. I think we got a trap here. From here, so we'd all on. have to go at the same time. And I disarm. With your investigation check, you didn't really notice a way to disarm it. It seems to just be on like an axis that's that would tilt it. Okay. I guess we'd have to go. Can I? I think. Can I? Ask, would be the lightest. Can I ask if is the axis like horizontal or lengthways? It, it's horizontal, so it'd be halfway uh, across the oh. hallway. Right. Well, wouldn't Shelly be the taller, uh, shorter? Uh, the I am the tallest. Being the least. Okay. Because we'd need to balance it. Because if you were to go there, I both of that definitely weighs more than Shelly. Yeah, but it's not left and right. Is the seesaw? Mm. It's like from us to the like from us is one side, and then over at the stairs is the other side. I believe this side went down. Yeah, and, this and side then that went side up. went up. That's why I was. That's the why axis I, would be like somewhere in the middle here. Oh yeah. fuck! Okay, that's what I was asking about. Um, at most um, I have like a five-pound crowbar. That's not gonna hold anything. I have a ten ten pounds worth of leather armor. <laughs> if I <laughs> scuttle across, I assume I might be light enough to make it to the middle. Okay, well, Balthazar weighs 160 pounds, so okay. what else we got? I have two scimitars. I feel like we're gonna need to like, like do a dash, a mad dash across to try and, cause we're not gonna be able to wage any of the side. I could, uh, Shallow just try and get a running start. You're trying, are you gonna try to run across the, uh, just, the seesaw? Yeah. yeah, I wanna run across. Okay, make an athletics check. And if I do well, I have something else in mind. Well, five, you you, you step no. on it and you, Scrubbins of also you just watch as Shello drops down. Wait. And then the seesaw goes back into place. 
I was I was gonna wait no um uh, what for you? I was gonna I was gonna ask if it would be um acrobatics if I was trying to balance, but I guess I wasn't balancing, I was just running. Yeah, you said you were running. You do take nine damage. Goodbye! <laughs> 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 I guess you be there. Okay, okay, okay. Scrum and Zwalza, what are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Right, I guess I'll go next. All right, make an athletics check. Are you just running straight yeah. across? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Scrum and you watch as Bolsar now falls through as well. Uh, <laughs> nine damage? Cluster fuck. You do take a nine damage, yeah. Scrubbins, you're now also completely in the dark. Yeah, I noticed. Um, <laughs> can I? Okay, so, so how far does this thing span again? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, Five, twenty-five, ten. thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. I so I can't jump that far. So I guess I guess I'll just try to. I don't have any other option. Okay, make athletics at disadvantage. Cause you're in the dark. Yeah. Oh, passable. Oh. Oh. Scrubbins, you then try to run through, <laughs> fall through, take a nine. <laughs> I think you picked yeah. you picked the two worst people to do athletic or the three worst people totally to do athletic awesome. checks for that. Oh my god, that's so fucking hard. <laughs> control the terrible. check. You guys decided to run across. I know. Well, what? <laughs> I don't think I could have done anything else. We really, we really couldn't have. I had false life, so I only take like three damage, right? It's the yeah. fact that it's not even like a Looney Tunes esque. It's like as soon as we step on it, we just <laughs> slide down. Well, and the fact that like we, it was like it wasn't like we all did it at the same time. We all fell. It was like we yeah. watched each one of us do it. Was it was like, no, fall. I can definitely do that, hundred percent. I got maybe it'll oh, be different deal. for me. I'm built different. So. Going to the next floor. Here we are. Marin oh. and. Pebble had just fallen through. Can you see anything? I can't Sally? see shit. Marin, oh, it is currently is your head? turn. You are prone right now on the ground. Can I be unprone? Yeah, it takes an action up? to get up. This, okay, one of the skeletons is dead. The other one is still alive. I don't have any bonus actions I can do. I'm just going to get up. Okay, it's, it's also going to get up, uh, staring you down. It also cannot do anything currently. Uh, Pebble, what are you doing? Can't see shit, dude. Can I, like, reach out into the darkness and see if I can feel anything? You reach out in front of you and you feel a pile of bones. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Isn't Pebble um, also prone? Yeah, but you're also prone still, So, but you didn't <laughs> pick yourself up, so you're just on the ground crawling. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's my turn. You feel the bones, not sure if it's Wait, actually, a live actually, skeleton am I, am I able to light a torch using my turn? As long yeah, as I can... if you don't pick yourself off the ground, you can do that. Okay, well, I guess I'm not picking myself up off the ground because I'd like to be able to see. Okay, right, I light a torch. You light a torch and you see a dead skeleton and a live skeleton. Merit and the skeleton standing up in front of you. Yeah, skipping them because they're still like fucking around upstairs. Merit is back to you. I'm gonna smack the shit out of this guy with my helmet. Right, go ahead and hit him. Ooh, wow, that sounded real. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'll roll damage for that. Wait, could you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> 12. How do you want to finish this guy off? Oh, so Or not even 12, 14. Um, I just want to <laughs> decapitate the skeleton. <laughs> Great, yeah, you just knock its head off and it Can I keep falls the skull? The no! You crush the skull. Shortly after this thing falls to pieces, you just hear from down the hall uh, to your left, a, a thunking sound fall down. A few seconds pass, and there's thunking sound fall down. <laughs> Another few seconds, uh, third thunking sound fall down. <laughs> so Scrubbing show, Baltazar, you, all three of you are over by the staircase down, just prone on the ground. You're out of combat, Can though. Can we, so. like, go investigate? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I see the culprits. Did you boys have fun? In such pain. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, no, it's hey, okay. Come it's on, right. come it's on, right. I got gotcha. you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Mirren's just oh. gonna help Balthazar stand up. I like hey, how Scrubbin, Pebble how and Marin fell from like the ground caving in, but it was less damage <laughs> from them <laughs> fucking up this trap. Sorry. I have a boo boo. Don't apologize, bitch. <laughs> you want me to kiss him better? I mean, technically, I only took three. Oh damage, my god. So. No, you're feeding into the orc mommy comments. Stop, stop, stop. 
<laughs> Stop it. Can I rest yeah. on a bench? Let's take yeah. a short rest. You want to actually take a short rest? No, I'm joking. I... Guys, yeah, do you want no, to take a I don't think rest? we should yet. No. Damn. Okay. Wow, whatever. I'm going to unequip cake. my torch because I some... don't want to have a torch. All right. Some We're nice in a chairs. spooky area. Oh, the two skeletons I would make like a little to have... face. I would like to have my my turtle shell shield <clears throat> back. So, okay, uh, Scrubbins, walking into this room, uh... you see <laughs> across the room is... <laughs> what the fuck is that? A pile I'm of just skin. It doesn't seem to be any bones or anything. Uh, it seems to be like an opposite of like a skeleton. That's, that's where the skeletons came from. <laughs> Like this zombified flesh, and it is currently oh, gnawing on a dead body across the room. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, really notice you, just kind of gnawing on it. Right. I think, he's snacking. Oh, there's let other doors. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let him be. He's snacking. <laughs> I just don't. I, was, I think we don't want to get bit. Bad news, I mean, if fellas. If that's the only way we have to go, if that's the only way we can go, then. What's yeah. The, what's yeah. The, what's it, it, it seems oh, the other door humbled. across the way, and the door below you all. They're both blocked by like a bunch of rubble. Oh, oh cool! Just so kind of caved in. <laughs> Can I see if this bow is this this bow is usable? Yeah, make an so investigation like to... check over there. I have an interest in a bow. Okay, well, before, ooh, that's epic. That's really before cool. we start combat, can I use um, my inspiring leader? Okay, you guys will have to wait here for about ten minutes. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a short rest. rest. That's not a short rest. Short. It is that's, a fast yeah, rest though. No, Shella, no, no, no. So, Shella, what so, what speech do you give your compatriots right now to boost their morale? I say, as the leader of the party, we've come <laughs> very far, and we've all had our hardships. We've fought uh, men with no eyes. We've fought very scary skeletons, and some of us have even had a lot of difficulty walking. Uh, um, however. I have to make this a 10 minute speech. So I would like to recount everything we've come across on our journeys. Oh, <laughs> because here we go. the creepy thing in there it does not seem as bad as skeletons, in my humble opinion. <laughs> okay. I think it's not that bad. All right, mm -hmm. team. Can I get a, can I get a, yes, sir. Yes, can sir. I, once more oh, from everyone. A so yes, neat. chef. Yes, yes, chef. Uh, yes, chef. Pebble, you're, you're investigating the weapons. Are there's anyone assisting yes. her in doing this or? What? Um, How much I, HP yeah, do you get back from that? Okay, Pebble, go ahead and roll gets... one more time with okay. uh, advantage Thank in case God. it's better. You than get seven two. temporary hit okay, points. Okay, uh, five. That's you, a little okay. bit. Oh, that's... Okay. You're you're looking around here. Uh, nothing seems like usable to you. You're like, ah, oh, whatever. We all have seven temporary HP. Guys, look, we made it. Go. Pizza. I needed that. It's enough for Skin Boy over here. And now I can burst into the room. And oh I can God. Say, you don't scare me as much as a skeleton may. It's just kind of nibbling on this body with its like. It doesn't have teeth, it's just kind of like gnawing on it with its like flappy <laughs> mouth skin. Not really paying attention to you still. Although that does look quite tasty. And then I'd like to take a step to the side and let everyone else come in. Thank God. By the way, oh, across, across the way there, the door is kind of blocked by like a magical radiance. Uh, mm, these uh, suits of armor aren't so gonna come to life, are they? <laughs> like a, like wait, Arcana wait, check. 11? 11? Oh, right. uh, it doesn't seem to be any magical force around them. Okay. As long as no one has to detect magic, we may never know. Detect magic, but I'm out of spell slots. Uh, <laughs> you are well, out of spell slots. What? I have <laughs> fucking... What do you mean? I've almost died. Yes, I'm... Uh, uh, well, I want to... Can I... I, I want to attack this guy with the... Can I throw a hand axe at him? Wait, and well, I was going to walk mean, up to... I was going to walk up to one of the suits of armor, the one above me here. He looks like he's got something on the floor. He looks like he dropped something. Uh, yeah, make an investigation check. All right, uh, seven. Seven, so you see a, a pouch of gold kind of spilled on the ground. You, you reach down, you pick up um, three gold, and as you do so... Mm. I, I would like to return it to its rightful owner. Coming out of the crack in the wall above it, <laughs> skin just kind of slides <laughs> through it. 
Hello. Chits. Chits. Is this yours? May I say no. something? And it, yes, it starts to wrap itself around Shello. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, Shello's becoming a human. Is this what the humans feel? <laughs> Shello become human. Everyone uh, roll initiative. initiative. Oh, nat 20, let's go! That's so great for well, you. Well, so Wasting all my oh. nat monies on something that isn't really as important. Yeah, you as wasted that. You've gotten like three nat 20s from things that didn't actually end up helping. You got like a nat 20 on searching an empty chest. Yeah, <laughs> Pebble, what are you doing first? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to run up here and try to. Oh, wait, I actually can't do that. Never mind. I'm not going to protect Shallow. Sorry, Shallow. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I see how it is. No, it's. You can actually... definitely get over there. No, wait, okay. It's fine. 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to run no, up. Don't bother. To... I'm going to. Shallow. <laughs> I'm going to run up to, sh to this guy and try to protect my boy Shallow. I'm gonna attack him with my long sword, and I'll roll a nine, a fourteen. A fourteen? Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Oh wow! Okay, these guys are weak. They're, they're bad. They're well, they got no skin. bones. <laughs> uh, I rolled a five. Five? Yeah, you slice at this thing, cutting some of its skin flaps off. Let's go, skin flaps no more. Can I pick them up and put them in my bag? No. Uh, <laughs> the one across the room just still isn't paying attention. It's just gnawing on this thing. However, the one that was wrapping itself around Shello, it's Shello. Make a strength saving throw. That's what I'm best at. So this is great. Two. Okay, two. <laughs> you take six bludgeoning damage. It's current. It it's, it's currently just like completely like wrapped around you right now, and you can't see anything. How much bludgeoning damage was it? It was six. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it's now your turn. Keep in mind, you cannot see anything. Would Would you say its mouth would be near where my mouth is? <laughs> Don't kiss it. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. It. No. It probably because it. It came face to face with you as you were picking this up, so it its head would be like on the back of your head. Oh, uh, okay. But I, would I would I be aware of that? Yeah. Okay. I would like to use a healing potion on the slime thing. What? Wait, what? Why? What? Hear me out. No. <laughs> I'm not hearing or you don't. Out okay. You're what pouring you a healing potion down its like mouth. That's on the back of your head? Yeah. Shello! Okay. Uh, this is this is the uh, healing potion I got from the slime cream. Uh, yeah, oh! I'm, I'm assuming oh. so you're using that. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Go ahead and... Um, ah, shit, what was the I damage for that? I'm going to have to go find it. I was about to say, there's no way that... How expensive health potions are you're just giving it to a fucking... I was like, he wouldn't take a bit that far, right? <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> oh, he's actually... Okay, yeah. He would. I mean, totally I, very, would. I, I very almost allowed Balthazar to get this healing potion from my backpack whenever I was downed and on the, my last save throw. The fact that we all actually believed that he was gonna do it really is a testament well, to the fact that he would... He would. <laughs> regular healing potion is 2d4 plus 2. Unless it's that, but in damage? Uh, I don't think it was that, but since I can't find it, just go ahead and roll that. We'll say that's okay. it. Seven, like... Uh, it, it like, it clogs up its mouth and it seems to like start choking on this. Are you moving at all? Um, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm here. Well, everyone seems to have that pretty much under control, so I'm gonna move to this one. 24, yeah, you hit, go ahead and roll damage. I'll let you take sneak attack damage from him because he's distracted. So 15. Are you using your special thingy that would deal extra damage to the other one as well? Yeah, sure. All right, then uh, roll a d6. A like spirit continues choking the one across the room that's uh, that's already choking on the faulty potion, but the spirit like comes out of the ground and starts choking at it. Maybe even being the the spirit of a once inhabited the body. Um, but they're they're both already looking like pretty weak. Wonderful. All right. I suppose I'll go over to this one with the scrubbins. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother raging, but I am gonna smack it with the halberd. All right, roll an attack. Oh, sixteen. Sixteen. Roll damage. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, how do you want to finish this one off? What? <laughs> 
I guess, I guess it makes sense. She's really disgusted. She's not gonna try and do anything fancy. She just wants to end it as quick as possible so that she doesn't have to look at it anymore. Kind of averting your gaze is kind of like cut it in half uh, and it just falls dead to the floor. Uh, can I use a splash on the one that's north of me, please? Um, yes, it is wrapped around Shello. Okay, maybe not. Let's see if Frostbot would do any damage to Shello. Or yeah. it does not save. Shello, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, Shello does save, though. Two. It's looking very weak right now. Um, Pebble's your turn. I'm gonna bash the fuck out of this boy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, Go ahead and make will that attack. hurt? Will that hurt Shello? <laughs> what does your judgment tell you? It says that it probably will, but I feel like my aim is good enough. Shella, how much health do you have? I'm currently being uh, withheld by this uh, boneless gentleman. I don't think I'm able to talk right now. Well, I'm going to attack this mofo. Give me an attack. Oh, it's a nat 20. We win these. We Damn. win these. Go ahead and roll damage. Hell yeah. Okay, so 10 damage. Shello, you take 10 damage. Huh? Pebble, how do you want to do this? Wait, 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 but I, I, it was a nat 20. Surely I could avoid it. It's Shella. wrapped around him. It, okay, it does whatever. damage to no matter what. Okay, I'm going to very, very, after bashing it in, I suppose I see that it's dead, and I very carefully cut Shello out of it like a surgical procedure. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shello, you're no longer blinded as you uh, emerge from this bag of skin and, and blood. It's a boy. <laughs> you you skin folk really have it hard, huh? <laughs> this that is thing, not even... that that damn thing almost killed me. Yeah. You know, it hit me have... with a large sword at some point. It, it felt very sore. Uh yeah, I, oh man, those those stupid skin monsters always hitting people with their large swords. Let me tell you what. <laughs> There's a dead body holding a crumpled piece of paper in front of you and a magical field I grab the, the door. paper. No young be empty open. That is nonsense. It says one... No. P- oh, op- open? How did they derive that? New? B- M- T? The, that's what the letters are crossed out. That. Well, yeah, but they, they did it backwards. What? Okay, Pebble's gonna read it out loud and say, No young, be empty, open. And then look very confused and quizzical. No, I I need you to explain what you mean by it was backwards. No, because it says open, but it's the O and then the N and then the E and then the P. Why would they put open? It'd be ONEP. Oh, okay, you mean like the N and the P. Yeah, I I don't get it. I (laughs) It's ONEP, not open. I don't get right. it. Okay. Uh, okay, that, anyway. May, may I, I... Okay. It's an anagram. All the letters that aren't crossed out need to make the second word. Oh, open sesame. Open the no. yug and open. Lane's a big brain at these. Nugbi. Nugbemti. Tim Aoyi. No, I'm really bad at anagrams. <laughs> Wait, if you if you put E M B T Y, it's empty spelled wrong. That's great. What? <laughs> Wait, I'm empty so... is one of the original words. <laughs> oh, you're right. You, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, this is so confusing. Uh, so I need to be quiet. N U G B M T. Can I look B-M-T. over here in the room, perchance? What are, you, what are you looking these for? Rocks. I don't know, just kind of... Make an investigation check. Around. I got a 21, a nat 20. Natural 20? Yeah, you're just aimlessly kind of looking around the room, not really sure what you're kind of looking Very for. True. <laughs> but you do see kind of etched in and next to the door with the force field is someone like wrote it with like a, like a knife or something. It's very small, but it says four words. Open four words. Forwards open. Four maybe. words. Oh, number four, four words. words. Okay, so the first word is open. How the heck did they decide? Okay, so wait, let's figure out what they crossed out the O and then the P and then the E and then the N. So I guess the next one would be N and then what? M. No. No. Or no. E. 
Wait, those were, I'm, I'm assuming those were few. already crossed out. They didn't cross it out themselves. The person who wrote the note probably... Wait, I'm so... Oh my god. Okay, okay, wait. They're Formally. different handwritings. The person that wrote open and the person that wrote the original thing, different people. Okay, so, okay. So, so... I, got, I got one of the words. Wait, how? One of the words is bug. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Can you arrange N Y O U G B E M T Y into sesame? No. What the fuck are you saying, Scally? <laughs> wait, wait, is it actually bug? <laughs> wait, how did you Podcast figure out? Podcast has a really bug? negative effect on my mental health. I think I think I like I like the the uh, I, I like what Modzi was saying. I think it's probably an anagram. Tomb. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Oh, tomb is. Yeah, you can make tomb. So, tomb means that bug isn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, open tomb. Can oh, I... Shallow's running around. Yeah, just look in this room. Okay, so that leaves us. What are you looking for in the room? No, I meant like I actually want to see what's in the room to see okay. if there's anything. Wait, how did you get tomb? T O M B. I know, but wh how did you choose those letters specifically? Because they make the Because word? that's how you spell tomb. <laughs> no, that's not <laughs> what Oh my god. <laughs> um, see. You still have to find two words that contain Y. Oh yeah, um, you're right. Uh, itrium. That has a what? Y in it. <laughs> Wait. Uh, stop, Scally. Okay, okay, you need to lock Pebble in like a different room or something while you do this. <laughs> you can spell tomb. yet. Yet is <laughs> one. You got about tomb. We can fit bone, and we can fit um bony. No. No. You, that you works. Could, uh... What do you mean? That no! literally. Does... It doesn't. It doesn't make it... sense. Bony. It eliminates one of the Y's. As exactly. Well. But it doesn't make sense. What do you mean? <laughs> it's um... a word. Why? No. That's not. God. Fucking. <laughs> okay. Um. There wouldn't happen to be anything on this book, would there? Book? The book in the uh, outer room here? Uh, oh, do you want to make an investigation check? Yes, please. 19. 19. The book is currently open. Uh, it, it seems to be like a, a book on anatomy. It's currently open on a page uh, about the mouth. Oh, can we make mouth? We can make tongue. Can we? Oh. No, we can't. There's no N. Wait, there's no H no, or we could make no. mouth. Huh. Well, if we... Hmm. So, is the answer four words, or is the original yeah. prompt four words? We have well, to the say... original prompt is obviously four. <laughs> well, okay, sure we, I... We have well, to I didn't say four word. words okay, okay. to make it open. So, we have open. We have tomb. Maybe we could do... Well, wow. we don't know if we have tomb. That's just an option. <laughs> okay, yeah. We could do tug or git. So, wait, what are the letters if we have bone? If we have bone, um, it's Y O U. No, we couldn't. We couldn't do bone because we don't have an N. No, we oh. do. No, no, if oh wait, we, no, we do. We I missed the original of... N. Oh, My no, brain's no. all over the place. Okay, and then wait. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> wait. So let's think of everything that, we fought. We fought. I uh, think the eyeball wait, guy. I forgot the G. I forgot the G. Oh, but we can't spell I. If it's if it's not it's empty. If it's not bone, it could be tongue. Tongue, really? Wait, T O U N G. T O U N G. Oh wait, no, tongue okay. spelled with like a U E, isn't it? No, that's how you spell tongue. You can do tongue, yeah. Or not tongue. Fuck, I'm maybe <laughs> I'm dyslexic. <laughs> maybe I'm dyslexic because that's what I meant to you type. Do that is not what that I type. Doesn't leave us with a lot. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, leaves exactly. very few letters. Gem? Oh, that's a good one. That's a word, all right. That's, um... Huh. A lot okay. of these have E's in Is them. Is it supposed so to be, like, a coherent sentence? Type new? <laughs> or is it just four words? Okay, uh, I bet it was, uh, tongue. I bet it was tomb. Tomb is probably tomb is definitely the best one that we've had so far. I don't um, know why, but I feel like tomb. Tomb There's no is way. very much calling out to I, me. Yeah. Yeah, because I it just makes sense with open, you know. It does, yeah. 
Because open tongue, open bone, open gem. I mean, technically they don't have to be in that order, but it makes the most sense with open. <sighs> what would the other two words be? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how many words have Y in them. <laughs> Uh, what do let's we look up on? a list of every word with Y in them. No. So, okay. Um, oh, we... there's yet. We could do yet. That's a good one. No, sorry, use the T. Oh, Explain yeah. like I'm five. But that's for um, tomb. I don't think it's tomb. Like rules that three, it, right? We can't make... Yeah, we can't do tomb. Tomb doesn't work. Wait, why um, doesn't tomb work? Because we can't spell anything with those letters. The, yeah. Okay. So then tongue can't work. Any vowels. Yeah, tongue, I don't think would work. Yeah, tongue is you way say... too many letters and too many vowels to... It must be gem. So, but the mouth. Tongue? But tongue, I don't... Because... Teeth. Wait. Can't spell oh. teeth. Wait, <laughs> wait sorry, that was really dumb. No, uh, I was thinking that wait, as well. Wait, because the tongue... Can we spell uvula? No. Stop! What? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, we can't do... That, yeah, that's what we we're left with if we do tongue. Unless it's, yeah. do tongue. Uh, is it open yeah. my tongue? But there's so but my and by open by my tongue. As you, soon as you say that, the magical field <laughs> disappears <laughs> and the door. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it makes so much sense though. Slowly oh opens God. up. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I tongue feel so is dyslexic. such a, tongue is such a word to choose for that. That's crazy. I, I'm so I hate it here. Let's get out of here. Wild. That is wild that you decided I'm, I'm to choose let him fucking go first. tongue. Let him go first. Oh, it, don't it, run I, ahead. Don't. Let it him. actually makes We're, fucking sense as well. It, it does the make sense. Thing. That's. Oh God. Okay. Uh, Scrubbins, as you just ran ahead there, um, what was your what was your uh, passive perception again? Fourteen. Okay, so you you step on a, a a plate, and a dart similar to the one in a floor above that didn't go off. A dart hits you right in the neck, dealing four damage. Make a Constitution saving throw as well. Okay. Oh, I bet it's poison. It probably is. Uh, yeah. Always a classic poison. Oh, that's pretty good. She and Deanna on 17, and you also take four poison damage. Oh! And you now know that there is a functional uh, mechanism that shoots darts at about head height uh, on, the, on the wall next to you. Oh, so Shello could totally just walk through it and not be bothered. All right, yeah. well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the dart out of my neck. And I'm gonna Wait, can, he, can he disarm them? Yeah, well, I wanted to get this thing out of my fucking neck first, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Looks nice. Um, it's a nice fashion item. But yeah, so then I'll I'll disarm. So that's, uh, that's dexterity, dexterity, right? Yeah. 21? Yeah, you successfully are able to turn off the mechanism, so triggering it won't shoot out anything. Okay. Hell yeah, let's go scrubbins, my man. He also didn't react at all. I didn't. I didn't say anything when he got hit. So he just. He just got hit in the neck and pulled the dart out and then just disarmed it like a that's fucking badass as hell. Like a fucking G. I'd like to heal myself. If that's oh right. yeah, you can. You can do that. Oh yeah. How low are you? That's fine. Don't worry. How low <laughs> can you go? Is Shella fun. actually mad at me? Shella never gets upset. Yeah. I might cry. Shella doesn't. Shella was upset pressure. at Mirren. Walking down the these stairs, you're now on the fourth floor. Hallway you're in seems to open up to a. A bridge of some sort. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, I feel like this has got holes in it. Oh, it's like Squid Game. Or very, <laughs> very Sorry. fragile tile. So <laughs> I have 13 health at the moment, so. Could I also uh, heal Scrubbins? Yeah. Uh, thank you. There you go. You deserve all of my maximum rolls. Thanks, man. Very carefully, like, press each tile, like, on our hands and knees. Pebble, do you want to make an investigation no. check? Is that a bad idea? But Mirren's not going to. I'll investigate. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, well, I kind of already... Uh, Pebble, I'll let you roll at advantage if Scrubbins is helping you. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. And a nine. Okay, nice. so we'll, we'll take 14. the 14. We'll say you're up front, kind of checking the tiles as you all walk through. <laughs> you don't seem to notice anything amiss about this... Uh, bridge as you kind of like move along <laughs> move along it well that's good <sighs> i'm sure the amiss is coming up the amiss is on its way oh god this is just like the mines of moria pebble you see that the bridge has been collapsed 
12 rats. However, the, the bridge seems to continue on the other side. There is a plank on the other side of the bridge and a puddle of water uh, that seems to be leaking from like the side. It seems like a puzzle. I should make a hmm. lasso with my rope and attach it to the plank. You might really just pull the it. plank over. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. that's a really bad idea. I mean, Balthasar is misty step. Can I get like? Huh? Wait, wait, I do. Yeah, you do. You'd be alone mm. over there. Pebble, can you make an investigation step. check? I sure can. Eleven. Looking below, it's very dark, but you kind of see like shifting down below you. Like there's things oh, down there. Oh boy, I'm gonna that's use awesome. misty step. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Using Misty Step to get across? Yeah. Can I, uh... Sh How many tiles as long is that? One, two, three... Yeah, it'll fit. Um, sh I just have to do a strength check to see if I can get the yes. plank over. It's a pretty big plank. Could yes. I... Could I use one of my uh, Bardic Inspirations? Ooh. One of my classic Bardic Smart. Inspirations. Nice job, Shello. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> good thinking on your Let's feet. Let's go. Yeah, Bardic Inspiration. Give me a little jig. That'll just be rolling at an advantage? Uh, no, you roll a, uh, an extra d6. Yeah. Or you can tr choose to roll an extra d6. Yeah, you don't I'm have rolling to. An extra d I'm rolling an extra d6. Nice. Fuck. You're trying to lift the plank, but you're not really able to get it, so you can't, like, lift it so to the point where it gets all the way across. It's a big distance, and it's a very heavy plank. Yeah. Um, I right, so we need to, um... Figure that one out. Would you... Would a... An, an additional character who weighs nothing, mind you, uh, with a strength of two be able to help? I don't <laughs> think you can get over here. That's the problem. That's, uh, well, I'm not talking about myself, but thank you very much. I have a parchment and a little bag of sand. Um, no, I have rope. I have poison. I have, rope. I have a skull. I mean, he was mentioning water. I've still got this stuff. <laughs> I have something that's interesting. I can't remember when I bought this. Uh, poison that if the person fails a constitution saving throw, they're affected by a polymorph spell. I'm just thinking, I don't know what sort of strong animals we may have seen within the past 24 hours. Lane and Scrubbins, what have you got in your inventory? Start listing it off. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, I don't think I have anything I've useful. I've got my amulet. I've got. I've got potion of find water. I have seven I hand axes. Found it. Bell, <laughs> candle, crowbar, hammer, lantern. There's water next to me. It teleports you above water. Wait, really? No, it's water what? finding. It lets you know when water is near. Doesn't oh, it? Oh, and somebody transports you to the closest source of water. I didn't oh, know that it actually teleported. God. I'm sorry. These I are forgot. the. <laughs> I I, this is one of the things Shello drank from the gnomes uh, <laughs> thing I'm that sorry, teleported into the fountain. I thought I that remember it was funny reason. when Shello just dropped into water. There's... I, I, I forgot I, that see... happened. Okay, boom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marin, you, you drink that potion and it teleports you into this like puddle across the way with Balsazar. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Alright, um... Uh, now, Marin, are you, are you gonna try to lift this plank? Yeah. Okay, go yeah. ahead and do it uh, at advantage with Balthazar helping you now. Did you just say a strength check? Or strength check, yeah. At advantage? Never mind, we don't need an advantage. Awesome. Not 20, baby. Yeah, yeah you, just, you just flawlessly... You don't even need Balthazar's help. You just flawlessly <laughs> pick it up one, and, like... One hand. Slide across, <laughs> push it over, over the bridge. Oh my god, I'm going insane. I'm going insane. Balthazar, like, grumpily, like, Why are you going arms, insane? Like, <laughs> at a spot that she could just one hand it. <laughs> Man's just gonna give him a little smirk. May I do a backflip oh, here? Do an acrobatics. Wait. I'm gonna stand here to make yeah, him catch him. He's really gonna risk it. <laughs> Shelly, you do a backflip in the middle there. <laughs> okay. Make a performance okay. check as well. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pebble thought the backflip was cool, but not like too cool. She's kind of scared that he'd fall in. <laughs> I was very scared. I was here ready to catch him. Uh, <laughs> but as you guys are turning to the corner, way. you see um, some stairs down going like kind of like to a half level. Down we go. Shello. Hello. Hello. Um, your foot kind of goes through a stair. <laughs> oh god, that seemed to no be <laughs> illusory. Okay. And a lightning bolt shoots out of it, dealing five lightning damage to you. Fuck. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw as well. 
15. I feel like this was just Balthazar pulling a prank on Shallow. 15, like uh, it also uh, sends you flying down the staircase. Okay. How far? <laughs> All the way to the bottom of the staircase, you take five damage, oh and you're now like laying on the ground, prone. There's, I think there's a trap it's like, here. It's, it's like tripping on a pebble and just fucking stacking it down. It was only damn stairs. <laughs> My it, old enemy. It only seemed to be that one stair that was. Bro, a you have to tell me. But all of you see down a hallway. It seems to be have like a bunch of rubble on the ground. Uh from the ruins, I like, kind of like caving in a bit. I don't want to step past this line for those sp spooky traps. Do you want to make an investigation I, check? I so will. I'd like to just lie on the ground for a minute. Uh, 11. That yeah, looks, looks fine. Really? Poor little guy. One step. I'm going to stay here for support. <laughs> we'll, we'll move when you want to move, buddy. Oh, okay. We're I'll moving. Start, I'll start crawling along. <laughs> As you move closer uh, down this hallway, you, you see that the wall next to you is kind of like broken a bit, and you can kind of like see a, a a room inside, like the the other side. Ooh. Can I try to bash in the wall here? First, make a investigation check. Yes, Can chef. Guys, I don't six. like six. Okay, make a uh, strength What's check. Up? Strength time, strength time. Guys, I don't want to get into any more trouble. What do you mean, any more trouble? Okay? 21. That's awesome. 21, <laughs> you knock a hole into this you wall. Sound so broken. And coming from the wall, a shadowy creature just grabs you. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Wonderful. go ahead and roll initiative. Pebbles, a 20 hit? Yes. This thing just like grabs your face. And just like Ow. sucks the energy from you, uh, kind of like grabbing at your soul. You God, take eleven necrotic this is damage. Bad suck. Eleven damage. Cool. Eleven necrotic damage, and your strength is decreased by four. Wait, permanently? Not permanently. Peanut, not permanently, right? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I'm terrified. You just know this thing is like sucking the soul out of your face. But and you feel a lot high. weaker. You all spot as another one goes through the cracks in the wall. God damn it! It's flying up to Marin. Marin does a 14 hit. No. Okay, so this thing tries to grab you, but you like duck out of the way from it. You can't touch are, me. Are, are they meant a to gingerbread man? This was, touch me uh, on this was a surprise bread. round. Um, oh, so uh, oh, now yeah. it is actual <laughs> initiative. <gasps> Cello is I your do, turn. I, thank you. I'd like to fire my crossbow. Does a nat 20 hit? Yeah, definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. You double it. Check Nine? Double oh, Jesus Christ, Shella, how do you want to do this? Uh, <laughs> I'd like to wave at him, and that's it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and just shoot it, and the arrow goes like through its body, and it just like, evaporates. It's the first time I've killed something. <laughs> and then I, I'd also like to cast healing word on myself pretty please okay all right fellas we gotta we gotta get through this <laughs> yeah pebble does a 21 hit yes it hits okay 11 necrotic damage nice. your strength is then decreased by additional three Hey guys, I have seven health, and I'm over my carrying capacity now that my strength is nine, so this isn't really a great... Uh... I'll help you if I can. Marin, it's your turn. Marin, you better fuck this thing up. I will. I will. I know. Just check. Marin's, Marin's just gonna slash at this fucker as hard as she possibly can. Okay, make an Wait. attack. Yeah, she is. Okay. I was thinking about raging, but I'm not going to yet. There's a 15 hit. A 15 does hit, roll damage. Oh, thank god. 13. 13, yeah, you slash at this thing, it seems to do a, a, a pretty hefty chunk. It kind of like flinches a bit as it's draining Pebble of her soul right now. These literally are demented, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to attack this guy with my, with my, what's it called? My long sword. And I'm gonna get, a, a, does a four hit. Make sure there's no ants inside. A four does not hit, no. Dang. Yeah, you feel way too weak and you're unable to like wield your sword properly. Your armor's like weighing you down. Yeah, you I feel, now have like, a. Very, very 
I have a 1d8 minus 1 for my slashing damage, even if I did manage to hit it. This isn't great. Scrubbins, it is your turn. Yeah, I can't do anything. You guys think I should shoot it, or should I try to stab it? Yeah, uh, whichever it. one is more reliable on killing, which does more damage, do that one. Move forward. Poke between the two largest members awesome. of the party. Awesome. Nine, you miss with that, unfortunately. You do acid splash on the boy. It saves against the acid splash. Okie doke. Yeah, it ends just, my the turn. acid just kind of goes right through its uh, shadowy acid form. Proof. Shadow we're back up to you. Oh gosh. Um, okay. I will go to here and then I will attempt to shoot it again. Shoot the other one. All right, go ahead. 10. 10, you miss, unfortunately. It, it hits the wall behind him. That's awesome. <laughs> Do you anything um, else? Nope. Marin, it now turns to you. There's an 18 mm-hmm. hit. Fuck, yeah. You get yeah. 12 necrotic dealt to you, and your oh, strength oh. decreases by two. Okay, thank God that just gets me down oh, to an 18. <laughs> just a comfy 18. Yeah, my, my strength was Matt. Uh, very upset now. She feels just the tiniest bit less strong, and she's so upset about it. <laughs> So she's gonna swing her halberd again. Alright. No, no, she's not. Oof, I'm yeah. She's just lost her balance a little bit. She's not used to <laughs> she's not yeah, used yeah. to it. Um uh, Pebble, that means uh, we're on you now. I'm gonna attack the mofo. And it's a six. Six. Oh! Unable to hit it. Scrubbins, it is your turn. Poke him. Fifteen scrubbins, you actually you actually are able to hit this thing. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Nine. Scrubbins, how do you wanna do this? Finally! I want to <laughs> I want to chop its stupid fucking head off. The head doesn't fall off or anything because it's like a shadowy form, but as soon as you do that, it just like eviscerates. And you guys are once again don't seem to have a visible threat. Sorry, Mozzie, we're probably gonna have to continue without you to get through the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> you um, want to okay, kill please you? Don't kill me. Uh, don't need to worry about using any potions because I haven't got any. Uh, who do you want? Who do you want controlling you? Who do you me. want controlling? Uh, uh, Marin. Uh, Lane. Yo. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you guys are in this uh, hallway. There seems to be a room next to you. You can see the door, dried blood going from a little bit outside of the door, leading into the room. That's a good sign. I don't. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Onwards we go. We all have blood, right? right? Is this a knife on the ground? It seems to be a kitchen knife. Can I take it? Sure. (laughs) So, yeah, I can't move move Balthazar. I can can move him, that's that's fine. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, there's two doors. Oh, shoot. Well, that just opens up our options even more. Oh, is this this door? You said it had is that blood. Do we want to check any of the doors probably, see if they're open? We should open? probably check the blood. Well, how many doors door? are there? Well, Wait, just the light. Oh, there's only two. Okay. Yeah, there's only two. Actually. Can I knock on the door right here? <laughs> no. Why? I'll make an investigation check. All right, that's an eleven. Yeah, cool. Seems to be seems to be a normal door. You you knock on it. You don't really hear anything on the other side. Anything like that. What about the uh, strength modifiers? Oh, they're still active. Oh god, oh, you guys yeah, are so weak. I just wanted to. I'm wanted doing to... fine. <laughs> you don't feel like it's gonna last forever, but you're still feeling weak. Marin, are you investigating that door for traps? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just rolling investigation. Eighteen. Eighteen doesn't appear to be trapped or anything. Okay, perfect. Hey, hey, group. I say you open. Pals. Do we want to go through? Let me just first? stand back a little. What does Balthazar think? <laughs> Me too. I think, I think we should open it. It's as quiet as usual. <laughs> Balthazar goes, I think we should go He's, he's still door. pouting. It's me, He's still Balthazar. pouting from earlier. He's he's still upset that Miran moved the, the <laughs> plank me, with one Balthazar. hand. It's stairs oh, down. Oh, found the stairs. Okay, uh, perfect. It's in the other so door. we know how to get me. out? Yeah, we're, we're not going to go through. Can I check I want nuts? to explore. Yeah, make an investigation check. Hell yeah, let's go, baby. That's a five. Okay. That's also it's not a, it's not a chest. It's a uh, it's a crate. Oh oh okay. Uh, can I hit it with my sword? Sure. To to, what? I want to bash. I want to see what's in this crate. Cut the side of it open. Um, you can now see inside. It seems to be like spoiled vegetables. Oh yum! Oh, rotting and maggots inside. 
Ew, okay, never mind. Uh, never mind. Can, I, can I rustle around in whatever the hell this is? It's a here? broken pot. Let's let's oh open this God. other door over All right, here. yeah, let's go to the other door. I, I'm Yippee. nervous. I'm so I don't excited. want to be the one to open I'll, it. I'll bust it down. Let's go. Oh, I have no. Help. Oh, no. Oh, you no. You don't really spot Jesus. any dangers inside, but you see just a pile of just dead bodies. Oh, I see a pile There's of a bunch of them. And oh. a chest full of gold and a, oh. and a whole ton of just... Different gemstones oh. all over the. Investigate it first. Investi yeah, Brown. investigate it. Wait, who has the best investigation? Um, me. Um, plus, plus one. Yeah, me too. Okay, I think it's Balthazar that has the best one. You want Balthazar to uh, yeah, search it? Okay. It out. Um, go ahead and uh, do it with advantage uh, for him since it's kind of like a group kind of checking this 19 so lo looking through i uh, will also count this for the chest uh, over there in that chest is 200 gold in the pile 20. of gems you find five blue quartz three amethysts two oh. jades the part a another satchel there. of 100 gold a yellow I'm... topaz and a weird looking pipe like a smoking pipe. pipe. Those are the gems that seem to be the most valuable. The rest just seem to be assorted like gems worth around like 10 gold that don't seem to be super valuable, but you can take some if you want. Okay, we, let's evenly we distribute this. We, yeah, okay, we need to evenly get, distribute. We get one blue quartz. That's super easy. Okay, Everything. each of us get 60 gold off the bat. No, that sucks. Okay, oh I'm... So there's three amethyst and two jades. I say three of us get amethyst and one, two of us get jade. Yeah, I, I think that Mirren should get a jade because... <laughs> I agree, I agree. Because <laughs> it's very pretty and also green, just like her. True! Oh, but you don't like it when Shello calls you green lady. <laughs> no, because you call me green lady. You don't, you don't like, make it an observation. It's just what you call her. <laughs> and, I, okay. and, I, and I call Pebble an Rock Lady. I'll pick an amethyst. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that's right either. Okay, you, wait, wait. You okay, Shallow, do you want an amethyst or a jade? I want it all. No, that's not an option. I'll take Funny. the amethyst. Shallow, okay, okay, okay. Balthazar, amethyst, and then uh, Scrubbins gets a jade. It was not originally just Green Lady. It was Scary Green Lady. <laughs> yeah, the scary got dropped at least. Jade, well, five. you scared him enough to make him not call you Green Lady anymore. Now he's learned your name. Still need to decide the yellow topaz and the weird pipe. Yeah, I'm taking the pipe. <laughs> okay, can we just agree Balthazar gets the topaz because he has to miss? Yeah, the... yeah, Balthazar can get the topaz. I'd like to steal this teddy bear as well. Okay. I think we're good to go. So... I hear Jenkins, and it's not me. You guys are coming down these stairs, and the ground is looking... Everything around you is looking, like, darker... Uh, it is like some like fog around here. You seem to be delving deeper within, and the, the ruins are like getting more cursed the further you get in. There's a door directly across from you, but it seems this pillar is kind of knocked in front of it, and you can't really get to it that that well. Uh, the hallway seems to go to your right. Can multiple of us like try to together push the pillar out of the way? If two of you want to make a strength check. Marin? Mir yeah, Marin, obviously. <laughs> what's everyone's strengths right now? Like, what's, what modifier? Uh, minus, minus one. Balsar is actually plus two, two, so Balsar is stronger than Pebble right yeah. now. That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> That's actually it's, terrible. Holy it's shit. so funny. So I guess Balsar and Marin are doing that. Marin, go ahead and roll a, a, a strength or both you and Balsar then. Oof. Nine. So <laughs> okay. Thirteen? Uh... It just seems to be too heavy. There's a giant pillar blocking this door. Mirren's, I guess, just gonna try and hit it, uh, like, with her halberd, and I hope it doesn't break in the process. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hit it, pillar. you just kind of, like, chip some rocks off it. It doesn't seem to do any, like, big damage to it. There's a very big pillar made out of just stone, just complete stone. It is, like, kind of cracked a bit, but this seems to be, like, uh, some of the parts of it that seems to be more like structurally sound. A pebble's gonna have a single tear go down her cheek when she sees the chipped rock. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's uh, keep on keeping on. Oh, that looks like bones. Got bones? Wait, is that bones or a toilet? What? There's rocks on the ground. No, no, the thing right here next to me. The that's the, the same. What? No, that's really? the same torch holder. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was the toilet. Scrub and stop moving. No, go back to where you were, but just stop moving. Um, because you're gonna have to make a, make a dexterity saving throw. Why are you all the way over there? You just step on the ground and a magical glyph kind of like appears. You start feeling super cold and then this uh, a burst of frost just shoots out at you. Um, you're kind of able to dodge out of the way and fall back on the ground out of the glyph, but you still take nine frost damage from it. Well, shit. Quite a healthy chunk of damage. All right. Uh, I guess we're just avoiding that. Yeah. Marin, oh, uh, but... <laughs> Scrubbins, Pebble, Shello, all of you make dexterity saving throws. Motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I have oh seven God. health. I can't. Hello. I can't actually. Fuck. I'm, make I have thirteen health. Cool. That's actually awesome. I guess. Oh, researching. I keep you what, like. You step on the ground. The By the way, the, the tile itself isn't like getting pressed down or anything a, a glyph just kind of appears on the ground with like runes around it and this one begins shooting just electric out of it Marin, you take 20 lightning damage okay i'm i'm down scrubbins you take 10 lightning damage shallow you take 20 lightning damage that's pretty good pebble you take 10 lightning damage okay i'm down hey anyone have healing i'm down Oh, you're also <laughs> down? So yeah. I think Scrubbins and Balthazar are still up. Yeah, um, I don't think Balthazar has healing. Who has healing potions on them? Don't. I don't think we have any potions. Oh, I have, a, I have a healing potion. I have a healing potion. Okay, so yeah, Balthazar is going to just uh, search Pebble, grab the healing potion, feed it to Shello. Okay, Shello, you're back up for four. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use... Healing word. That That's alright. Oh, I'll roll a healing word on Pebble for that one. And Marin. Oh, I'm so sorry, Marin. Pebble is up for seven. Marin is up for five. It's a good trade off there. You're now all back up after that just happened. There is a door okay, in front of you. Check for okay. scraps on our way Yeah, there. we need to check. And also, we need to take a short rest as soon as possible. Could, are we able to take a short rest here? It would take an hour. Oh, but you can take a short man. rest anyway. I don't have an hour. You just have to... <laughs> we don't have to wait <laughs> an hour. We could do a short rest if that's all right with everyone. I would like to do I a think short we rest. I need it very because much. we are all very low. We're health. actually going to die if we don't take a short rest. Yeah, we, we will not survive. I did suggest um, it a little bit ago. You did. Well, and yeah, I, we we I weren't also, as fucked up I as suggested. we are now. I also suggested it a little while ago, but... All right, uh, you can but, all go ahead and take a short rest. An hour passes by. Pebble and Marin, your strength has returned to normal. Oh, Over the course yeah. of the hour, oh, you feel God. your strength come back. Uh, Shallow, um, make a perception check. 19. You, you, don't, you don't notice uh, any threats that have come by through this hallway or... You don't hear anything on the other side of this uh, door as you wait here to rest over the course of the hour. All right. Now I like to get down on all fours, sniff <laughs> around for traps. You have more than four limbs. Get down on all six, a five. A five <laughs> seems good. All right, sweet. Let's head on in. Okay, Wrong open door, make a dexterity to... saving throw. Okay. <laughs> oh. I got a five. Oh, no. You take this three damage as a contraption kind of in the door frame zaps you a bit That's with lightning damage. damage. I've now entered the room. Oh, I thought that was a big worm for a second. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's what I'm asking. No, I'm not. It's not what I'm thinking. I'm, what's that, like, altar looking thing? Uh. Also, another thing that I'm as well thinking. Can I uh, check out this box real quick? 
Yeah, make an investigation check on the box. I love it. You you open it up and like kind of rustle inside. It seems to be like various like rags, some rotten fruit in there. You're not finding anything uh, that really catches your eye. Let's check this altar, baby. I think no. Balthazar should check it. Oh yeah, Balthazar's smart. He's a smarty pants. It's also magical. I right, go ahead and do that for him. Eleven. Um, yeah, what Balthazar gets from this is that is it's definitely magical in nature. Uh, on top of the altar, you see letters. Uh, kind of written in like like glowing magic. It goes from A to E. A E. A B C D E. Oh oh. oh. <laughs> um A to E. <laughs> I thought that you were saying it flashed back and forth between A and E. Yeah, but the, these letters are uh, just like magically inscribed in the ground, and and they're kind of they're kind of glowing. Also, I would know with his Arcana check that like touching them would trigger some sort of um magic no shit another uh, puzzle there's five of us and that's five letters what i think it's this? another puzzle it i it has to be but we don't know what the well there's a the door is are those well, barnacles several on the altar there's one door oh, there's, like through. One there's candles that are kind of like uh, oh like not lit candles makes more yeah. sense there's also but... blood <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice the blood. You're so right. <laughs> Head towards Plus this door, you. perhaps. Yeah, we should check out the door. Shelly, you can make an investigation check altar. on the door, then. Okay. <laughs> it's gone well so far. How about a five? <laughs> Another five! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's happening? Five. It seems to be a big stone door. Uh, it, uh, there's no doorknob, though. I think this is a big However, stone door. In the place of the doorknob is like a a slit. <laughs> That's surprising. What about that letter that Knox gave us? What? No, that we letter? have to deliver that to a guy <laughs> in the capital. Oh, wait. Nice. I guess I Can I um try and peer through the little hole? It's um it's big enough to like fit a hand into. Um it's like dark and then you can't really see inside i want to stick my hand in it okay you stick your hand into it and it's, it seems it's like a box and, and there seems to be some sort of like thing you can grab inside of it okay is any information gonna... about the size of the thing or anything it's, it's just kind of like a handle and and you feel like you, it kind of moves a bit but you you can't like pull on it uh that far but it kind of like shakes as you like grab it okay cool Okay, well, uh, can we investigate the other two doors? You you try to, like, get the door open, but it seems to be blocked by something on the other side. All There's right, five of us. There's five letters on this altar. No, let's Bombs check in. the very clear bag that's over here. There shall make Take an investigation check. All right. I'm definitely the person that should be doing this. So I got a nine. Nine? Inside of it, uh, you find one potion of healing. Oh, Thank that would have been fuck. so useful earlier. Well, it still is useful, but it would have been very, very useful when none of us had a potion of healing but me and we were all down. Are we doing the five of us, five letters kind of deal? Pebble's gonna take a step onto the altar. What? No! Did I not Why do don't that? you investigate things? Okay, well, you just I, do things. I, okay, I, that's, okay, I'm being attacked. Okay, I want to put my hand on the letters. Okay, which letter? Uh, A. You don't really see anything happen, but you hear kind of like a sound coming from the door across the room. Someone want to check that? Oh, yeah, I can go over while you keep your hand on that letter A. It's really dark over here. I can't see anything. <laughs> Maybe I should do it because I can yeah, see I can't in the dark. See, I can't see anything. You go over. All right. Don't worry, guys. To see if anything's like changed because we heard the noise and everything. Drake making Just... an investigation. 15, it currently looks the same. Mm. Can you put your hand through the the hole? No, that's a that feels like a bad idea. <laughs> I All right, I'll, I want to take my hand off the A then. Okay, I'll put it on to B. I I'm not putting my hand in there. I will put a. Can I like fit the uh like the end of a sickle in there? To see if anything happens uh, to the blade yeah, you, you instead can, you of can, my fucking can, hand. You can stick a, a, a sickle in inside, yeah. Uh, okay, I would so prefer to do that instead of my hand. When Shello puts his hand on the bee, 
you see inside of this slit, you see five sort of like uh, knives kind of like go across the top of the slit. Oh! I feel like you should. Thank God I didn't put my fucking hand in it. Going against the uh, the the end of the sickle you put inside. Uh, All right, let's try C without B this time. (laughs) C, nothing happens. Oh, nice. D, D, two blades go across against the sickle. So fun. How many went across with B? Uh, B was five. Okay. Uh, I'll do A again because we didn't see what happened. A, three blades go across. And then E. E, four blades go across. Hmm. We're missing one to make yeah. it one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, There's I'll also the question of whether we should be ascending or descending. Like, if this is some I think sort we, of... I think if it's like this, we should be descending because we don't have... I mean, I guess we have two to start with, but... Blades are often considered to be quite dangerous. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Are there any? Have we come across any other number things in the room? Mm, not that I'm not aware. Currently. Of. So can I just go in reverse order? So B E A D C. Yeah, you you do that, and uh, yeah, once again, five blades go across, four blades, three blades, two blades, then nothing. Nothing other that happens. Huh. Uh, Try going in ascending order. Okay, so C, D, A, E, B. I would like to punch that in, Peanut. It, it goes through those. Again, nothing really happens. That's cool. I'm starting to want to stick someone's hand in there because I feel like that's important. No! That's what I'm saying. Um, so, wait, I wait, guess if, if you, you press, if you keep C pressed down, yeah, maybe? Yeah, Because yeah. that's okay. the only one that didn't do anything. A hold down C. If you switch it, I'm going to kill you. I'm holding down C. C is my favorite number. <laughs> number? Yeah, I guess Mirren's, go- Mirren's going to very carefully remove the sickle and slowly... Um, stick her hand and being very careful to get the handle. Okay, by the way, uh, it doesn't seem like holding it down does anything. It, it's the the letter seems to activate when you touch it and then like it goes back to glowing. I guess press oh. it while Lane's holding the handle. Like press Yeah, okay. Hand. I'll press C. Okay. Marin, you feel the handle become like kind of like looser in your grasp. Give it a firm tug. I guess, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Kind of pulling it towards you, you hear a musical note coming from the door, specifically a C note. Oh. Oh. I'm not C is the music. only musical note without a sharp. Okay. A has three sharps, B has five sharps, D has two sharps, E has four sharps. I see that. Oh, sharps. Okay. Yeah, I get it now. <laughs> Cross the, wait, wait. But... A has three sharks, three blades. Oh! You, you're you pulling this uh, lever. It's going really slow, and the note just kind of gets louder and louder as you're pulling it. Then, eventually you get it, and it, like, it stops at the end of the slit, at which point the door opens, and on the other side oh. is some so sort of creature <laughs> with angel wings, glowing yellow eyes, no mouth shrieks out at you. Uh, it, it's like oh. veins on its head, like lighting up. Go ahead and roll I thought initiative. We could be friends, but okay. Oh, <laughs> big twenty. Oh my nice. god, I'm not one of four Balthazar's gonna die today. This thing is standing here. It seems aggressive. The light behind it is kind of illuminating it from the back. Cello, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Blind Deceiver is a cool ass name. Sure is. I assume we're killing it. I I assume we don't have a choice. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. <laughs> um, I didn't want I'll... to, but then it started screaming. Yeah, but I mean, you might be screaming for some other reason. Okay. I'll go down there. And then. Okay, I'd like to fire a crossbow at it. Alright, go ahead and roll a hit. 15. 15, go ahead and roll damage. 5. You uh, you hit it, like, right into the arm. Doesn't seem to flinch or anything. 
That's good. I think I'll give Bardic Inspiration to Scrubbins. Okay, shoot the fucker. Oof. Uh, yeah, nine does not get him. I'm gonna run around Marin and attack the mofo. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. Working on it. I'm very slow. Oh, a nat one. Okay. That's... Yep. <laughs> yeah, you miss. Okay. I'm just now learning that spell slots aren't refreshed with uh, a short oh, rest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do. No, oh, no, I'm not. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, you just hit the wall. I just dropped the fucking arrow. Pebble, it is going to just try to punch you. Shockingly simple. Ooh, a 14 doesn't hit, right? No, it does not. However, with its second hit, it it is able to get you. It's it's left arm just sucker punching you. You take 13 damage from it. Okay. Uh, nice. Marin, what are you having Balthazar do? Oh god. Yeah, no, we're not doing super hot. What about cantrips? Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna do frostbite. Um, it, it fails, so go ahead and roll damage for that. Okay, six, yeah, so uh, Bolsar kind of sprays this thing with frostbite damage. Um, just like Shello's arrow, his crossbow bolt, uh, it, it seems to not be super phased by this. So I'm having a feeling magic doesn't bother it too much. It took, it took damage, you it just personally it really did not care. It. That makes the more sense would, to yeah, me. Sorry. I thought... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so we'd, we'd be we back up know. to Shello then. I will. Shit. And just take a shit on the floor. Yeah. What are you doing <laughs> for your nice. turn? Took a quick shit. <laughs> doing my turn. There combat. we go. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna fire at it with the crossbow again. Right. Okay, does a five hit? No, it does not. I'm just gonna shoot it again. Okay, 24 definitely hits. Being real damage nice. for that. Ooh, 12. Seems to flinch a little bit more from this uh, as opposed to the other attacks. Like it, uh. Pebble time, I'm gonna attack it with my long sword. A 21 does hit. Roll damage. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, so six damage. Aaron is on you again. 10. I doubt that hits. 10. No, you miss it. Pebble, can you make a constitution saving throw? Sure can. The light coming from its eyes grows in intensity and it just looks at you with like uh like kind of like a lantern light just like illuminating your face it, it doesn't really seem to have much of, of an effect on you before it like goes back to normal it's gonna shove you back five feet oh so you're now right there i'm not complaining and then it's, it's going to move up with you as it shoved you and it, it, it now like ducks under the uh door frame and kind of stands over you by the way this thing is eight feet tall Oh, what oh, the fuck? Well, and you it's just now mentioned me. that. Okay, I feel like we're not far enough in the in the dungeon for me to consider using the last two spell slots. But we don't really know how far. I are. know that's that's the struggle. Um. Were we told how many like layers there were? No. Oh. <laughs> we should have asked about that. I guess I'll just have to use another cantrip. Uh, we'll just use um, frostbite again. Yeah, once again, he takes uh, some frost damage from this, but it, I mean, it's it's it's, it's not a whole lot of damage uh, just because of that. It seems to still just kind of be focusing oh. on Pebble right now. Uh, however, Scrubbin's doing the most damage to it. Um, it it's kind of like eyeing him a bit as well. Contemplating whether going with the crossbow is better or going with the scimitars i can do more potential damage with the crossbow. scimitars you do make two attacks yeah but one of them has a zero a plus zero on like the chance to hit so i could do the scimitars we'll go up here 10 10 a 10 and misses okay <laughs> uh hold on since I missed, I'm gonna slash with the other scimitar. All right, I got nice. a fifteen. Fifteen? You you hit him with this one, so go ahead and roll oh, damage. Yes, three da four damage. Four? All right, yeah. You you slash at him. It seems that your damage is like really small to him. You're chipping away at him. Uh, he's he's looking a little bit weaker, but still that uh an opposing threat to you all. Surprise! I'm gonna shoot him. Twenty-three. You hit again. 
Oh, damn. 11 ice. Yeah, Scrubbins is definitely seems to be annoying this thing the most. Guess what I'm going to do. Yeah, make an attack. <laughs> 18 does 18? 18? Yeah, you hit. Why? Hey. 7 damage. Yeah, he's, he's seeming like he's in like a more of a weakened state than when you first saw him, but he's he's still very intimidating to you all, but it is now your turn there. We're gonna get up here so I can actually hit this bear. <laughs> How about time? Maybe... Ooh, 15, 15? Yeah, you hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, eight. He's, he's looking around uh, a bit more. He's like surrounded. Actually, Marin, after you just did that, he's going to look at you. His eyes light up the same way they did on the pebble. He shines his light a foot down at you. Make a constitution saving throw. 19. Holy. 19? Mm-hmm. It's not having a an effect on you just like Pebble. I'm I'm scared to figure out what that thing does. So if a frostbite gives him disadvantage, right? Yes. Uh, against on weapon physical attacks. attacks. Okay, he, uh, he then swings a punch at you. Marin, there's a 17 hit. Yeah. It's gonna hurt a little bit. He he punches you in the chest, dealing 13 damage to you. Then radiant energy sort of comes off of his fist, blasting into you, dealing, dealing an additional seven damage. God damn! Uh, how That's much? That's 20 that? in one attack. God damn! And it's Balthazar. Um, I'm sure you know what I'm gonna say. The so. frostbite again? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, he fails it. We're gonna do damage for that again. Nice. One. Okay. Doesn't really care. <laughs> um, Damn it. But then it's Shell's turn. I'm just gonna slash at him with a vague hope that I do damage. Ooh, 20, yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Seven. Seven? All right, yeah. You you, you slash at him once, so you're doing it again. Of course. Nice. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? 17? Hit 17. him again. Go ahead. Another damage. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill this fucker. Two Four. quick slashes dealing a good amount of damage. Uh, it seems like he's surrounded. He's getting pummeled a bit more. Well, Scrubbins, it's your turn. Are you shooting your crossbow at him? Yeah. Okay, tw- 23? Yeah, you hit him. Eight damage? Eight. All right, yeah, you do additional eight to him, putting some rounds into this guy. Pebble, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna attack him with my long sword. A 15 does hit. This guy has such a low armor class, but like a boss. Okay, four. <laughs> boss. Four. Yeah, you hit him with this. He's taken so many hits, but he's still like not looking like super weakened as as you think he should be at this point. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's be taking the hits well. Marion's your turn though. I'm gonna rage. Okay. Uh, three. Appearing behind this thing in in the room, uh, right here, a sort of like yellow, white, glowing airy ball kind of forms behind him and it, it just kind of it just kind of stays there uh currently are you doing anything else for your turn uh well yeah i'm gonna attack okay we'll make an attack Oof, this is an 11 hit 11 and 11 does not hit uh but can you roll 1d6 two this ball behind him just bursts into force damage hitting him in the back dealing two damage to him Ooh. uh and you feel like you, you'd be able to conjure this as a bonus action on each of your turns now. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty sick. You can uh, spawn it on a enemy you see uh, within 30 feet of you in a uh, five foot tile around them. Okay. Like a, I believe it would also damage anyone else around it in a five foot radius though. But this guy, let out another shriek, kind of fluff out his wings, pushing you away, disengaging, flying 60 feet in the air. Damn. And then hovering about 10 feet above Scrubbins, it's going to shine its light down on him, make a constitution saving throw of Scrubbins. Nine, look up at it uh, as you kind of like become entranced in it. Feel like some of your energy is being taken from it. You take one point of exhaustion. Oh. This might be a really uh, hard boss. Well, you can do this. I believe in it. And it seems absorbing that energy some of his wounds start to heal on his body. Awesome. That's that's great. That's what you want to hear. I'm super happy about that. <laughs> uh, it's not Bolsor's turn. I'm going to let you take a wild guess. Now you doing frostbite again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bolsor tries to s- spray this thing with frost, and it it's able to dodge out of the way from it. Uh, It's still in the air, right? Yeah, it's about uh, 20 feet into the air. I'd like to 
take a peek into this room. Okay, it, yeah, make an investigation check. Three. Three. Uh, it seems to be a room with some statues and some light coming from the sides. That's fun. I'll shoot at uh, the thing. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. 15. 15 or 15 hits. Two, three. You just kind of shoot it in its back and it just uh, keeps doing what it's doing, but it is now scrubbing this turn. I vote that we smear its guts around the room once we fucking kill this thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, I rolled 25, I rolled damages, piercing damage 6. Dealing 6 damage to it. Uh, is that Pebbles okay. turn then? I want to throw two hand axes. The first one an 8, and the second one a 15. 15 hits the 8, does not. 5. 5? Yeah, you throw an axe into its back and it falls back to the, to the ground, um, chipping away at it some more. So I can't reach it from... What's uh, back on the ground? It? It's not back is on it? the ground, no. Oh, yeah, it hasn't been so, so it's still 20 feet above. Yeah. Well, first, as a bonus action, I'm going to use that, that uh, ball of light thing. It explodes at the end of your turn. Okay, awesome. And, um, javelins are throwable, right? Yes. What do I have? My eyes are not. Okay, I have three left. I'm going to get just right up here. I can get a little bit closer, and I'm gonna just fucking hurl a javelin. Point two, yeah, you hit. Oh, well, it's still six, so you know. But it's eight with rage, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you throw this javelin, and it gets like stuck in its leg a bit, and you roll d6 now. Five. That thing explodes right in front of him, deals another five damage. It's kind of like dripping blood on the ground uh, from from where it's flying above. It's it's looking quite a bit weaker now. Hell yeah. Scrubbins, can you make a strength check? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Scrubbins, it picks you up and flies about 50 feet into the air. Awesome. And then it drops you. Awesome. Scrubbins, you take uh, 11 damage as you fall back onto the ground and you're now prone on the floor. Then, can everyone make a constitution saving throw? Sure. I mean, Scrubbins are twinning. Oh, shit. Well, I got a fucking nat 20. <laughs> uh, the smallest inkling that I failed that one. The 12? Okay, Marin, you're the only one uh, <laughs> that fails it. You yeah, take five radiant damage as your vision becomes kind of like blurry yeah. and you become blinded. Fuck. Is now Balthazar's turn? I, the guy's still just in the same place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then we're not moving. Uh, yeah, frostbite. <laughs> okay, roll damage for that. Three. Balthazar sprays him with three more frost damage, uh, freezing him a bit. He's still... is he still 20 feet in the air, or is he He's 50 now? feet in the air. That's cool. <laughs> Let me... I want to try and cast Hideous Laughter on this sucker. What joke yes. do you tell him? I'm far too tired to make a joke right now. <laughs> Sorry. I, I say... What do you call a fish with no eyes? It's not gonna answer, you're gonna have to finish it. <laughs> well, answer, man. That's how the joke works. You cast hideous <laughs> laughter, it does not turn around, do anything, it does not acknowledge you. It's saved. How much wait, how much damage did the uh, scrubbins take in? It was like nine falling damage? Like eleven. Yeah. I think Yeah, I think I can use healing word on Scrubbins. Okay. Five healing. I have one more uh healing slot left. Going is, is your turn now. Stand. I guess I'll move. I'm gonna throw two hand axes at him. Oh, Holy oh, fuck! Both of those hit. So roll damage twice and double the first one. Okay, so ten, 10 and, five. and five. Okay, yeah. You you throw these. One of them like hits him right into the head. The other one in, into the back. And now he like turns around looking down at you. You seem to. He seems to be injured, quite quite a bit now. Uh, so. You have the ball. Yeah, but I can't see it. You could I, move. I could, <laughs> but I also can't see where I can move. You can feel around, right? Mirren's, I guess, gonna sort of stumble back to to the wall to, like, try and get her bearings. Okay, I can go ahead and move you. There you go. <laughs> you kind of, like, stumble and hit against the wall. Uh, and then at that point, your, your blindness, uh, your vision comes back at the end of your turn. Oh, thank god. This thing then swoops down to above Pebble. Its eyes light up. Pebble, make a constitution saving throw. Alright. 
Seven, yes. you suffer one point of exhaustion. Then it's gonna hit you, Pebble. It's a 21 hit. It does. He smacks you in the in the head, dealing 12 damage to you. This, okay. We're gonna use magic missile. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit, I did so good! You got 12. Oh, Rolter there. bursts him three times into the back and it flinches and like grabs its back a bit from this damage. Shell, we're back up to you. It is above Pebble right now, like 15 to 20 feet. That makes my plan much less interesting. <laughs> uh, if only I someone think... had Earthbound. <laughs> oh, it's a good, fuck! It's a worst Great game. Is here for that. I'm gonna just go for the regular old crossbow, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely hit with a five. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you miss. What? <laughs> Look at the scrubbins run to you. Move forward a bit, and I'm gonna shoot. 24, once again you hit. He don't miss. He literally, he gets like 24 every single time. Five. Um, yeah, not as much as you've been doing, but he, he's still looking very, very hurt right now. Uh, he's like bleeding profusely from like a lot of the cuts he has. Dripping blood like onto the, onto the ground as he flies around. Uh, Pebble, it'd be your turn now. I'm gonna throw two hand axes at him. Both of those hit, yeah, full damage. Six and seven. Pebble, how do you want to do this? Yes. Oh, oh, Fucking so desecrate this place. After it falls to the ground, I'm assuming, I'm going to take my sword and sort of look at it with pity before cutting off its head. As you do this, it kind of reaches up at you, but you get the feeling it's kind of reaching towards like your chest. Oh, my amulet? But before you can really react to this, yeah. your, your blade swings down, cuts its throat, you and its bastard. light just like flickers from its eyes. I've never seen more evil of a thing than what just attacked us for the past hour. <laughs> That fucking thing's dead now. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Thank fuck. I'm kind of scared about the next room. Me too. This, I understand we just fought a boss, but there's like big suits of armor or something in the next room. I think they're statues. Yeah, but they're big. As far as we know. Can I walk up to this fucking thing and... Um... <laughs> I'm gonna stomp on its on its head over and over again. I want to spit on it. <laughs> let's let's have fun in this really beautiful room. This room is terrifying. Is this gold? I see. Yes. So, in this room, there's various statues that are like crumpled and broken. Uh, a pebble. I'm gonna really hope you don't. It says turn out like usual. Can you make a religion check? Uh, I can try. 13? Okay. okay. Is that good enough? Not great. However, you recognize one of the statues in this room. That is Gwynvane, the wood elf deity. The others are too destroyed or you just can't really place the deity, but you get the impression that this is like some sort of holy room uh and, and the statue at the very end here that you're that you're directly in front of is kind of like the biggest and seemingly most important one in this room uh it has like the most offerings around it but you don't know who this female looking deity is hmm. i kind of want to go up to this one in the middle and take this pile of gold <laughs> okay uh are you, are you all kind of like looking around the room? Yes. Well, I am. How about you all make a group investigation check? Oh, dude, I'm doing great. Um... Nice. Thank you, Scrabbins. And then... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! Pebble, there are windows. You see stained glass around, and these actually look out into like an open space oddly enough even though you're like underground what you see looking out the windows you're in a like dark cavern uh, but you, you just become just kind of instantly overwhelmed looking out these windows because there's even more buildings just towering under the earth 
oh it seems God. you're only in one of them and these buildings are just like in a perpetual strange state of being both like upright and like upside down jumbled in a way that could only be caused by the, this powerful magic that kind of like sent them underground and it becomes apparent to you that you've only scratched the surface of these ruins that you only went partially through one building not even the full buildings a lot of the ways were kind of destroyed and you couldn't get to them but there seems to be other entrances into these ruins that seem to go over the entire course of of what you can assume you're under the capital right now it seems this really was an old capital that was entirely just sent underground as massive as the capital you're familiar with and you also see more creatures like the one you fought flying around Aww. under here other creatures that you can't really place more of those shadows traveling between buildings can you also actually make a nature check pebble i sure can well. This section of the cavern you, you're in kind of opens up into something that's even deeper below the city. That's kind of like dark, strange plants. You get the feeling this might be a, a cavernous opening to uh, what you've heard of as the Underdark. Oh. Poopy. Gotcha. I'll count that as the investigation for outside of the uh, room you're in. Um, so can you make another group investigation for inside the room you're in? Sure can. Yes, please. I got a gross 20. <laughs> I got a 2. Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Hey! hey. <laughs> of course! Of course I rolled that one. <laughs> and then a 20. Shello, the statue you're looking at, it has a metal metal that's spelled with a d not a t this metal has like a, a weird insignia on it you all also in the course of searching this room you find 50 gold nice total or between those total i'd say pebble would find this it's at the the statue all the way uh across the room you find a weird looking ring also has a, a symbol on it you can't really tell really what it does but pebble you also find prayer beads Ooh, and yeah, so four, it looks like a normal prayer bead, but four of the beads seem like specifically like radiating some kind of energy from them. They seem a bit different than the rest. Gotcha. And that, that's all you guys can really find uh, that, you, that you can deem as important in this room. As far as you all know, this is about as far into this building in these ruins you can you can get to. All the other doors seem blocked pebble sort of looks like she's holding back some tears she doesn't want to do awesome right now at the same time as your kind of relief of getting through this there's a itch at the back of your mind that you know that there's so much more to this that you just can't get to where you are right now i'm fine with that <sighs> i think i think you know 10 gold was a good reward for me Along with all the other crap. Can I break on the statues? Oh my god. Um, or could I, like, un unarmed strike on the statues? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Can I right, try to stop him? Uh, Pebble goes to, like, grab your hand before you do this, but you hit against it and there's nothing really happens. You, However, you damnable thing! They'll make an investigation check. <laughs> oh, oh! As you notice, that what you just hit was a has writing on it that says Asgaroth. Oh, that's the that's the dragon. What? Why did Scrubbins just? Are you beating the shit out of that corpse? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's not even. Where did you go? <laughs> oh, oh were... you went up. <laughs> <laughs> you were under the corpse. <laughs> The uh the statue says, "Gang, the statue. It's it says something that is good for us. It says Asgarath. Is this the, is the dragon guy? This statue is kind of like destroyed, just from like being the ruins and and all that. Like uh, it's kind of like stuff is caved in on it, so you can't really see the statue 
itself, um, but that, that's what the plaque on it says. You hitting it kind of like rubbed off some, like uh, some pebbles and dust. dust on it. Yeah. Well, I've I've learned as much as one can. I want to get out of this godforsaken place. Yes, please. Marin, I'm ready. Marin, Marin can you pick me up? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't mean, I, I wasn't specifically saying that, but it was like, Mom, can you come pick me up? <laughs> yeah. You guys make your way through the holes that you went through going up. Interestingly enough, you make it back to the first floor, walking through, and you notice that that guy you killed isn't there anymore. The guy with the eyes? Yeah, the guy with no eyelids. His oh. body is no longer there. However... You just keep going, um, and you don't really he spot got them. Eat it. Are, are either of the body bags still there? The body bags are still there. They stopped moving oh. now, but so he he's reanimated. That's cool. If he doesn't have ar- arms or legs. <laughs> he has one leg and no eyelids. Scrubbins, make us investigation check for that. Ooh. Twenty. You notice that there's a blood trail along the ground that kind of leads back uh, through that first floor where you came in at. Up the stairs, and at the very top of the stairs, uh, his body is laying there with an arrow in, into the head, and you're now all back into the Manus Noctis. Thank it fuck. seems this man, whether somehow living through that or reanimated, he crawled his way back out and was swiftly taken care of. Oh, lovely. I want to <laughs> fucking sleep. Yeah. I mean... I want to fucking sleep. <laughs> yeah, you'll go back into the uh, like hostel uh, type uh, quarters this place has uh, to sleep. Yeah, you all can take a long rest here. Um, <sighs> wake up in the next morning to head to the capital. That's also where we end this session. Successful dungeon dive. Yeah.